All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please let me know if the voice is not good. Uh, today our topic is very simple. You know, we know that Muhammad is a very special man. Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, he is the most unique person in the universe. This is what the Muslim they say. To the point even Allah, he wrote the name of Muhammad in his chair by his own hands. So imagine I am Allah and now I am busy drawing the name of Muhammad over my chair. I mean, how important it is for Allah to have the name of Muhammad over his chair. For sure, there is a reason there. Imagine yourself, you have this chair. And now you find that there is something missing, something very important missing. What is important of the throne of Allah? More the name of Muhammad. So Allah, he decided to write the name of Muhammad everywhere. In the top, in the back, in the side, on the legs. Because the throne of Allah without the name of Muhammad have no value. And now Allah is working so hard, writing the name of Muhammad all over the chair. By the way, this is what people do, especially lovers. As an example, you walk in the park, you find somebody, he wrote the name of his girlfriend because he's in love. Allah is in love. With a guy, his name is Muhammad. Allah, all what he do for living, actually, is just to make Muhammad happy. To the point the hadith says that Jibreel told Muhammad that if if not you, Allah never created the earth, neither the heaven, neither me, mankind, neither, neither the angels, if not you, Muhammad. The whole universe is created just for Muhammad, which means the purpose of Allah is just to make Muhammad happy not vice not the opposite and because Muhammad is very unique and obviously Allah he got his juice from Muhammad so the Prophet he come with different ideas which is very juicy so Muhammad he come with an idea says that if a man he divorced his wife and this woman she want to go back to her husband she cannot get back to her previous husband unless she sleep with the new guy and he tastes her juice and she tastes his juice that is a very juicy religion actually i never heard of somebody is genius like muhammad who come with such a thing that in order to come back to your previous husband you have to taste the juice of other person there's once a, a guy he was debating me about the word juice and what it is in arabic and then we went to the dictionary and we found that asiratuhu or asiratuha, asila is a word mean orgasm. So the Prophet of Allah, because he is so wise, he always come with the new things nobody heard of it before. And today we are hoping that the Muslims are going to show us their juice. And in this case, I don't mean orgasm, please. I mean your knowledge. Before we continue, I just saw the news that the German police arrested 10 beautiful Abdul who they were planning to kill as many as they can from the Christians and atheists and non-believers in Germany. You know, we saw the whole world crying left and, le and, and right for a crime happen once upon a time by a crazy guy in a New Zealand. But the fact, this is a daily news, happen everywhere. In Nigeria, every day, there's a Christians being slaughtered. But guess what? Because those are black African Christians who care. Let them die. 
if somebody his ass is hurt in Los Angeles the holy news in the world they will carry the news but when Nigerian Christians they die left and right who care those are just African poor people let them die who care they are not even in the news so the ten Abdul who been arrested they were planning to drive trucks ten Abdul not one not two you know ten okay then the beautiful peaceful Abdul and I assure you that those are beautiful peaceful Muslims and we understand them wrong they want to kill you to send you to heaven hmm? but you understand them wrong going back to our topic Muslims they flood us with the articles and videos about miracles of the Quran and science in the Quran And when we check them one by one, we found that they are nothing but hocus and they are nothing but a lie Not a single one of them is a truthful But the madness of the God of Islam which is Muhammad goes beyond imagination if you look at the title of the video today, we said some of what Allah do not know creation of a humans astronomy and judgment day Let us start from the last one the judgment day The Muslim they say to you that Jesus says nobody knows that the, the hour save the father Not even the son But Jesus he explained how this is work if you read the whole chapter You will see Jesus telling you exactly how the hour will come it is based on our corruption for ourselves. The faster we corrupt the earth, the faster judgment day will come. So this is not about knowing when it's going to happen as much as about you decide when it's going to happen. But in the Quran, the Quran said, that the judgment may be in the corner. And the moon split all of us we heard the Muslims saying this is a miracle of Muhammad which is very funny because even the Quran never say so the hour drew nigh and the moon was rent in a twain twain mark twain change the translation if you don't like this translator he, he sound weird Yusuf Ali the hour the judgment is nigh and the moon is a cliff asunder which means the judgment day started it's not near really they see Iqtaraba uh, Iqtaraba is like almost here and then after Iqtaraba he says look the moon split asunder which means the judgment day already started but all of us we knew that this is something happened supposedly 1400 years ago proving two lies that there's no judgment day is near and the moon never split if the moon ever split the moon will not even be exist because then one part will be grabbed To the sun or to the earth depend which one facing the earth you see the moon is stable in a location because it is where both uh, let us say authority of power of a gravity in that point they became equal so the the sun cannot take it to their side and thus the earth will not take it to that side but any play with the balance of the size of the moon that for sure will change the location and will destroy the moon how the moon split ascender became two pieces and then became one piece again was that a fake <laughs> splitting was that a fake warning either the moon split ascender and became two pieces or it's not so obviously it's a stupid claim it was nothing but about 
uh, the moon suffering from or let's say uh, eclipse don't text me please I just started my topic and people start asking me I have a question I will block you always respect that when we start don't text me don't call me you know if you have something to say say it to me in the chat otherwise I will block you in Skype remember one thing Skype we have it open only for Muslims the chat is open for you so Allah do not know the judgment day and he have no idea about the judgment day and he claimed that the moon is split asunder the Muslim they post it in uh, the internet pictures of a crack in the moon which is a valley and they say see the moon is split that's stupid we have the biggest crack in the earth which is the Grand Canyon but the earth is not split that is a valley you never heard of one the moon is split and the judgment day is near and neither of them happened ever it was a pure lie made by an ignorant man who always got scared when he see the eclipse if we go in the hadith we will see the following that always when muhammad he see the eclipse he go not To the point Muhammad he knew he is guilty and he says free free the slaves free the slaves This is how scared he is Oh now we are going to be punished for having the slaves So it's okay to have the slaves all the year long or all our life and now because we have an eclipse we free the slaves When the eclipse come Muhammad he pray continually non-stop because he is terrified Obviously, even Muhammad, he established a prayer. It's called the prayer of the eclipse. There's a prayer in Islam. It's called the eclipse prayer. And Muhammad, he starts reciting the Quran loudly until the eclipse has finished. And then when the eclipse is done, Muhammad he screamed takbir and he bowed down So the eclipse for Muhammad is the moon splitting and it is a scary thing. Let us see if we have a Muslim here. <clears throat> Hello? Why you hang up, Abdul? If you call me and you don't talk, I will block you. Hello? Hello? Sam Shimon's been begging and you're a prick and Jesus is garbage to suck my dick. That's all the Quran you have for us? Do you know about Sam Shimon? Okay, let me ask you. Is that all the Quran Why you Sam have Shimon's for us? Dead? You are a filthy animal like a stupid, your prophet. And you are upset because we are getting you busted and you don't have a penis you are the same as your prophet he ordered a pant with long zipper not because his penis is big but because he have hard time to find it this is why you talk about it always filthy garbage in 
garbage out. If Muhammad was a good man, then who are the, those people? Did you hear what he said? If Muhammad, he made a good religion and his followers are good followers. So what we just heard, it's a clear evidence that Islam is nothing but a scam and a filthy religion. You cannot answer. You can call names as you wish. Muhammad, the prophet of Allah, this guy is called asking me if I know Urdu. I mean, I got people who they are weird coming from the end of the earth. Why I will know Urdu? You see why I'm blocking people? Do you know Urdu? A Muslim texting me, do you know Urdu? I know Urdu for sure. Brother Tittar. The prophet he said, if a woman she got divorced, she have to take the dude of her husband. This is the Urdu I know. Suddenly, you speak to me, you text me in English, and you are asking me if I speak Urdu. So, what the English we are using for? Do you know Urdu? I mean, it's very normal for an Arab guy to speak Urdu, right? I'm an Arab, but I speak Urdu. Do your prophet know Urdu? This is what is missing to say to me, I want to debate you in Urdu. But yet he is texting me in English. Uh, anyway. If you notice when the Muslims get upset, they get upset for a reason. I understand. I mean, if I am you, I will upset too. I mean, look, look at this madness. If we go to chapter 18 in the Quran, chapter 18 contain the most funny, stupid stories. You cannot find it in any cartoon ever. Allah in the beginning of chapter 18, he says, Praise be to Allah. The fact he doesn't say praise to be Allah, he says Alhamdulillah, which means thanks to Allah. Allah says thanks to Allah. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He says in the first verse, thanks to Allah. You see here the translation is false. It doesn't say praise be to Allah. It says Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah means thanks to Allah. How Allah, he says Alhamdulillah. And look what it says, Alhamdulillah, that he has sent to his servant the book. Obviously, there's no way that Allah is talking. Have you ever heard of somebody saying, Alhamdulillah, the Christian prince, he sent his book to his servants. Who are you? Who is the one is talking there? This must be Muhammad. But yet the Muslims, they claim that no, the one is talking there is Allah. Muhammad, he did not make Quran. But if Muhammad did not make this verse, how in the word Allah, he say thanks to Allah, who has sent to his servant the book? You tell me. I mean, verse number one is a disaster. What about verse number two? Is even more stupid. A brother and sister, there is terrible punishment if you don't believe in me. Hold on, what terrible punishment? What is the terrible punishment if you don't believe in me? Do you know what is a terrible punishment? Muhammad, he said to the Christian. If you don't believe in me, Christians and Jews, 
Allah will erase your faces and by the way if you look at my face I don't have eyebrows I don't have mustache I don't have even I mean even mouth is gone Muhammad he claim if you don't believe in him he gave him he gave them he gave them a last warning if you don't believe in me Allah will erase your faces even your nose will go inside your inside your head your mouth will 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 became skin which means you will have no mouth no more you will have no face Allah will erase your face And until now, we are waiting. Somebody saying CP is a just a voice box. Well, who is your God, Allah? Isn't He a voice box? Isn't it your God, Allah? Said I speak, never speak except from behind a veil. Mister Voice Box. Did even your prophet heard of Allah? Did even he? So Allah or even heard the fart of Allah Mr. voice box and it was not It was not To a human or a moral to, to to speak to Allah unless it be by revelation or from behind the veil who is talking Allah Allah is a voice box Do you see it? Your God, he never spoke unless he is behind the veil. And why you want to see my face? How come you don't ask your God? Well, show us yourself then. You know, you know, there's a guy, his name is Mimi Hijab. He says, maybe a Christian prince does not even exist. He speaks from behind Hijab. The funny, his last name is Hijab and he's making fun of the Hijab. He himself last name, which means people they call him hijab, they call his family burqa family, which is a shame. There's no man will be called burqa unless they are shaming him. Usually they say that a statement for somebody is a coward, famous to be a coward family. Hijab, hijab. Uh, the burqa family, all of them they are women. This is what they mean, what it's mean. So he said, maybe Christian Prince does not even exist. You can go and watch the video. Well, maybe Allah does not exist too. Muhammad, he never heard even the fart of Allah. At least I can read your text. Allah cannot. Because Allah speaks only Arabic and he is ignorant even in writing or reading. To the point he could not write the Quran. You see, the Quran says, That it is on us to collect the Quran and to recite the Quran and Allah never collect and never recite Never collect And never recite Any Muslim? Any Abdul? Then we continue with the madness of Allah. Chapter 18, verse number 18. Beautiful chapter. It's very suitable for cartoon. Muhammad suddenly he starts speaking about a bunch of youth who hide in a cave But hold on This story is a fiction story written by a Christian bishop from Syria about it's a fiction, you know to encourage the believers Let us see we have Abdul Hello Sam Shimon come here we go. This guy is having. Uh, this guy is suffering from really mental issues. <laughs> Sam Shamoon, Sam Shamoon. What happened to Sam Shamoon? Did he do something bad to you? Ah, I think you have a problem with Sam Shamoon because he have no hair. And that remind you of something you don't like, which is Allah. Allah is the God who have no hair. 
Maybe now you think Sam Shamoon is your God. Behold. Behold. What? He want to tell us about the companion of the cave. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you? Go ahead. What do you want to say? Oh, nothing. I heard you yesterday. Have you know? Uh, How are you doing? How are you doing? And are you uh, what do you call yourself? The ultimate uh, fort. Yeah. Yeah. Ultimate fort. Okay, Mister Ultimate Fort. What do you want to say to us? Yes. Yesterday you lied about your Bible. I did. You said there's nowhere, nowhere in the Bible your God say if you do maybe I will take you to Jannah or maybe mm. I will save you. Well, you see, when we speak about uh, about stupidity, we prove it. I want to show you Jared, something. Jared, I want to show you something, Jared, and you show me a verse Jared, from the Bible. Do you accept? Do, do you accept? Do you accept? Emia thirty six. Do you accept? Do you accept? You see, yes, the first Jared, one you Emia. okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The first one, I, I want you to apologize for your lies. You said to me in Genesis twenty seven, God, He said, God, He said, Jesus said, My Father. Is it true that what you said in Genesis? Uh, if you are Christian enough, no, 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 don't know. tell me. No, in I'm God asking you. Father, I'm asking you. Is it true? Is, is it true what you said to me in Genesis you're, you're, 27? See, see what are you doing? Let me talk. I am Let asking you. No, don't talk. change the topic. Don't change the topic. You said to me in Genesis I'm 27. Topic. I'm Jesus about the same is topic. Okay, no problem. So Why I'm asking you, you in Genesis 27 yesterday. You quote for me. Is it true that Jesus what was saying, "My Father"? What? Tell me. What did I quote you? What you call me Genesis. and you say to me Genesis 27 is speaking about Jesus saying my father and how many how many Genesis to 27 you got to 27 1 27 2 27 3 27 20 it doesn't 27. matter and what you, you say to me you say to me and we can quote we can we can show the verse in the screen which one you quote for I'm me do you, you. don't you remember okay let's say let's say yes let's hmm. say I thought uh, that was God speaking. Oh, so uh, you, so you uh, thought, you what thought. Is, okay, so what matters is, it okay, is hold on, hold on, hold on. So you thought, saying, you, so you thought, but at that time yesterday you were sure. Now you are saying you so, thought. So what? It, that does it matter? Okay, it's it's matter. It's matter because you are calling me. You are calling me to prove me wrong, but you, yet you are lying because you were saying yes, it's true. This is what it says, and then you quote for me Luke fourteen. Is it true what you said about Luke 14? Or it's a lie too? You don't know what I quoted for you. You said to me, Luke 14, shut up. No, you said to me, it's in the video, it is there. You said to me, Luke 14, do you agree with Luke 14? Okay, did Jesus say there you might go to heaven? Did Jesus say in Luke 14 that you might go to heaven or you might be forgiven? Did he say that? I made a mistake. That was Jeremy. So this is mistake too. So why I'm gonna listen to you? You are a donkey. You are quoting for me oh, things without, without even reading it. Run? You are a certified donkey. No, you are the one is running. Now let me ask you: When Allah He said to Muhammad, "May Allah forgive your sin," Allah do He knew He will forgive the sin of Muhammad or not? We don't say do He knew. He said, he said does He knew? He is does. Uh, okay, does do does. Him. Okay, thank you for correcting me in English. Maybe you can correct your God Allah in Arabic now. I'm asking I'm you, I'm asking you, when Allah, he says, maybe, maybe Allah will forgive Muhammad for his sin. You asked me the question yesterday. Why I'm he says, no, I did not answer. I'm no, I did not ask the question. Let me answer, no, though. I did not ask the question. No, I answer you. I answer you about the verses you are running away. Now I'm asking you, how Allah, he said this verse in the Quran. May Allah I forgive said, to you. Uh, Hold on. Ultimate fart. How Allah, he say that Allah may forgive thee. The fault of the past. What do you every fault gotta be for, from the past? What do you mean? No problem. So all the faults have to be in the past. It has to be in the past. It have to be, right? It have to be in the past. Do you agree? For you to commit a fault, for you to commit a fault, the fault had to be committed already. Okay, so there's no way Allah will forgive you for the one to come. He can't forgive you for whatever you're gonna be doing. But what I'm saying, if you already commit a fault, it had to be in the past. But you just said to me, "What are you kidding me? The fault have to be in the past." So why you are saying to me it have to be in the past how if it's not? How can Allah be asking you, Muhammad, how I forgive you your past sins? I said yes. 
Okay. What is the problem with that? No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say he will forgive you. It says me Allah. You know, I say. Read, what, what, read carefully. What, 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 read, read. You just asked me. Read, 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 okay, ask, see, you, you got yourself busted. You just said that the fault have to be in the past in order to be forgiven. This is number one. I said, Yes, no, you I said, said no, fault, you said that. that number two, how Allah he say, okay, how Allah he say that Allah may forgive thee. The fault of the past and the fault to come. By the way, Allah it's not the fault, you, it's you, about the sin. I can say to somebody, I can say to Christian Prince, mm. whatever you will do to me, whatever you have done to me in the past, I forgive you. Mm. And whatever you will do to me in the in the, in the future, I forgive you already. That's somebody wonderful. That so why Allah saying maybe? Maybe is is my choice. What the choice? What the choice I of who? You, I, I give you. Okay, I hold give on, you. hold on. No, no, the verse, the verse before it, the verse before it, the verse before it, it says. Question, but you're gonna cut me off. The verse Let it says. Speak. The verse it says that Allah gave Muhammad victory. The verse it says that Muhammad is a prophet of God. The verse it says that Allah will give him a, a, a place in heaven. The verses says that Muhammad granted to be in heaven. So how now here he says, "May Allah forgive thee for the sin in the past and the one to come." If you let me, can you can you, you be speaking ninety percent? Go ahead. You are not answering. You are running away. Okay, running, running away. If you shut up, I will, I, I will speak. <laughs> Just let me let, let me answer. Okay, go ahead. I mean that that's shameful that you let you only you you want to add debate go, go, and you want let them talk. We never debate. I spank you always. I never debate. You are just a kid. You do not know what are you talking about. Are you the one who says to me that Jesus have three fathers? You idiot. Yes. This, this is how silly you are. This is how silly you Jenny. are. This is how stupid you are. It's in your Bible. But everybody is laughing because this is not what the Bible says. What? If you, if I show, I can show. The look, okay, let me Jesus. ask you. Let me ask you. According to you, according to you, you are the son of Adam. That's mean. Adam is your father. Oh, so then, so so then, why are you saying? No, that, so you are a uh, donkey. Said, so you are a donkey. Mary, you are a 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 dirty you are a you are a listen listen you are a dirty cat you are a dirty cat and you don't you don't have dignity to say it as it is. If the Bible says that I Jesus said, have father, Allah he is, he, 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 Allah. hold on, if, if me, the Bible please, says, if the, now, uh, shut now, up, you, you idiot. Now let us go back, let's go back to subject. Why are you changing subject? Yeah. Why, you are changing, you subject? changing subject. I'm just showing everybody how silly you are. You are just a silly human being. You are, you are, you you are, are funny, David. you are a teenager. You, went to, you, you, are, went to, you are a teenager. The Quran says that Mary is the sister of Aaron. That means that Jesus is the son of Omran. So that means that Jesus is he is his own father. Jesus is God. No, that means that Jesus and, is the son of Amran. When the Quran when the Quran when, when, the, father, when right? the Quran says he, that Mary is the sister of Aaron, father? that means Aaron is the uncle of father. Jesus. Hold on, shut up, idiot. When the Quran says can that Mary is the sister of Aaron, father. can you be your own father? Let me ask you. you no, we believe in the Trinity, you donkey. Be we believe in the Trinity, you donkey. We believe in three person, you donkey. You do not know what Christianity is about. So shut up. You cannot be your own father. He is not his own father. This is why he says, is my he father. Is, Jesus, is he God or not? Listen, he, is he God or listen, not? listen, don't, don't, be, don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. The, even the Quran confirmed. How confirm. many gods do you have? The, listen, listen. Everybody is listening to this. How many gods do I wanna you have? Ask you, I want to ask, ask you. The Trinity is a three person, one God. And you know that. So stop okay, playing games. Jesus God. So listen, no, hold, hold on. One, hold on. When you say that Jesus I, is the question, father, though. is that a Christian teaching? Is is Jesus? I'm God asking you, don't change the topic. When when you say that Jesus you know is the, the Father, is that you know a Christian you teaching? Want, you you the one that that went to David. You are a coward. Jesus. You are a coward. About... You are a coward. You are not going to answer. When we Christian, we say that Jesus is God. Is that mean we say that Jesus is the Father? I'm asking you what, what, what so don't so lie then about problem, Christianity so when you debate a Christian said, debate about what they believe said, not about what John you claim 17 listen Abdul now answer let us go back to the topic you speak spanked enough now answer how Allah he says may forgive thee or is Allah sure no, he will forgive no, him or not you, no you're not gonna bring any subject you want you went here you stay here you're the one that that that, okay, go, go, here. go. I'm listening. Allah, He gave Muhammad victory, as you see in verse number one. No, 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 Allah no. You ran away Muhammad. from that. You came to Jesus and Trinity. Let's talk about Trinity. Hmm. You ask me a question. Let me answer. Let me Be ask you: Is the Trinity Be in the Quran? Now. Is the Trinity? Man. Is the Trinity in the you, Quran is correct or wrong? I said, just be a man. Let's say one. Be topic. a man. You, you, uh, be a man. Let us talk about Trinity. No be problem. I'm asking you: Is Let's... the Trinity in the Quran? Is the Trinity in the Quran correct or wrong? 
You ask me a question. Let me answer the question first. About I'm the asking you. Right? This is the question. Is the Trinity in the Quran correct you, or wrong? You said, no, you said there are there is one God and three persons, right? Yes. Let me let me debunk that. Let mm. me debunk that first. Mm. That claim you made. Let me take it away mm. first. Yes. You said there is one God, but there is three persons. Mm. But you said the the Father is. Uh, but Jesus telling you mm. there's only one and only God. That's the Father. Only. John three fifteen. Mm. John three fifteen. Mm. Mm. There's one and only God. Mm. That's the Father. Mm. One and only. Yes, Jesus saying it. Okay. So why? So Jesus why you? So why you Muslim? You lie so and you Jesus say. Insane. So why you Muslim? You lie. Insane. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So why you Muslim? Lie. No. No. You will what? finish. You are. We are talking. It's not one guy talking. Why? Why you Muslim? Lie. You say we believe in three gods. Then. You just quote from the verse. You just quote from the verse saying that Jesus said that your father is your God, right? Jesus said the only God is the Father. Okay, no problem. We will, we will show the verse on the screen. Everybody will laugh at you. Now you confirm that every Muslim lie when they say that the Christian they have a three gods. So why your Muslim lie and you say Christianity teach that we have a three gods? That that's what he said because you saying Jesus is no 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 no. We go by what Jesus said. You are a liar. I'm asking you now. Why you lie? Where can you show me one verse in the Bible says that we believe in three gods? Jesus, you the ones no 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 verse saying it but so you are a lie you so you muslims are a you bunch of lies so you, you muslims you, you muslims are a bunch of liars jesus is the visible visible image of the invisible god which means god he presents himself or he is in three person god the father god the son god the holy spirit one god so god is a spirit is the god of islam is a spirit Okay, now answer this. No, answer this. Is the God of yes, Islam no, is a spirit? No, 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 no don't, claim, don't change. Is the, no, no, we want to show you, everybody you, you how stupid Islam, Islam is. Is the I, God I of the Islam is a spirit? Yes or no? I said. Don't say. I want an answer. Is the God of Islam is a spirit? That our God is Allah. This is another question. This, you see how silly you are. My our God is Allah is like a name. This is another question. Is your God Allah is a spirit? Our God is Allah. This is not the question, you donkey. Like. I mean, what's wrong with you? Is Allah is a spirit? Yes or no? I do not know. I do not know what he looked like. So you do not know who is Allah. You do not know if he is a spirit. You do not know anything about him. So how you know he's one or two or three or four? No. I know he's one. How you know? Because he, you just because told he me. You just one. told me. You just told me. You do not know even if he's a spirit or not. He said he's one. L listen, he is one. What? He's one God in all. What does that mean? One what? One what? He is one God. One what? One what? One of what? What one is that? God, not three. God. Okay, one God. One what? He is one what? What one God mean? Is that a God made from silicone? You say to me that Allah is not a spirit. So what he is? He is made from what? So if I say I got one car, you think I got a I got a Chevy? No, listen. I got when a, you say that you have I, one, I, I Allah a, is one. When you say to me, thing, when you say to me, car, hold on. When you saying? say to me that Allah is one, but you do not know one what? That is stupid. If I got three cars, so I Allah is a, so are you saying Allah is one car? So, so you are say saying to me, you are saying to me, Allah is one car. car so one, Allah is, is so you are confirming that Allah is made from steel. He is one car. Uh, because you said it's three. I'm asking you. No, that's not the you, question. You said, I did not. I, no, I did not say that. I did not say that. I'm talking about your God. I'm saying your God is a spirit. You said I do not know. How foolish of you God, to follow a God! You do not know, know what his name. Look alike. You I will see him. No, one day. I am not asking I you how he look me. like. You see how stupid you are. You change the topic now, guys. Did I ask him how he look like? I did not ask you that. I asked you: Is Allah is a spirit? I don't know. Allah. I, why? Allah okay. Is okay. Hold on. Hold Allah, on, guys. When Allah you when you say Allah I do not know, why the ignorance about Allah and the nature of Allah? Allah why are you Muslim? Why are you? Okay. Allah is not a spirit. Okay. Let me ask you: What is a spirit mean? In Islam, what a spirit means. Hmm. What spirit uh, means? Uh, a spirit. Uh, Allah calls it spirit like uh, angels, Gabriel, or something like. Where, that. where, where in the what? where in the Quran it says that the spirits are the angels. Allah said He sent to Mary His Where, His spirit. His spirit. He did not say He sent the angels, right? Every Allah said He be sending angel Gabriel to every human being. This is not. This is not what it says. Read, show me, my friend. Here we go. 
The, the Quran, the Quran he, he says, sending, hold on, let, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Does the Quran say, does the Quran say, does the Quran say, does the Quran say that the spirit and the angels are two different things? I said Allah said this is not a question. This is not a question. Focus, Abdul. Focus. You are getting red. I am asking you, does the Quran say that the angels and the spirit are two different things? The Quran called Angel Gabriel the spirit. This is not no no never say that. I, I tell you to show me one verse it says that Jibreel is a spirit. Can you show me a verse? Every time Allah talked about shut up, shut up and show me the reference. Don't tell me every time. Every time you call me, I spank you. Shut up, shut up and prove what you say. You see, I challenge you to prove what you say. Where in the Quran it says that the angels are a spirit and the spirit are angels, and where it says that Jibreel is a spirit. Can you show me the verse? I said, open the the verse we just read. What uh, verse we just read? Nineteen verse. What, what verse is it? It says Allah, Allah he sent his, sent his, spirit. his spirit. Okay. It says Allah he sent his spirit. Nowhere it says it says he sent Jibreel. That's Jibreel that we're talking about. How you know it's Jibreel? Who told you that? Oh, so uh, things things you love. Okay, I, I want you to confirm why, this. I want you to, I want you to confirm why? so everybody will laugh. Are you saying that the spirit and angels are one, and anyone he will say the opposite is a fool? What are you saying that all angels are a spirit and the spirit are angels? Do you confirm that? And anyone who don't agree with this is not a Muslim. Here's what I'm going to tell you clear. I'm I just told. No, I want the answer. Are I'm, you confirming to us that anyone believe that the angels are not a spirit is a fool? I'm not going to say that. Why not? All I can tell you is as long as you are sure, Abdul. Look, look, look at your hypocrisy. As long you are sure, as long as long, no, no, no. I want an answer. I said this. Why I'm saying to you, why not? I said, I you you tell that. me no. Yeah, you tell me I'm not going why. to say because that. You, why. you, you ask me a question. I said I will not say that. Why? Now, I'm, I'm, now let me force you. Go ahead. I tell you why I wouldn't say that. Go ahead. What the heck is wrong with you? <laughs> Go ahead. So you. <laughs> Go ahead. You ask me, okay? If I consider every angel uh, uh, as a spirit or every spirit as an angel, right? Mm. I said I wouldn't say that. Mm, why? All I know is Allah is is calling Angel Gabriel. Where our spirit? Where he sent him our spirit Where? every time. Where? He sent Where he says that Jibril is our spirit. When he sent him to Moses, he sent him to no, Jesus. No, nowhere it says. Muhammad. Okay, he I challenge to, you uh, in the front of to, everybody. To, to, to show me the verse. Okay, show me, show me the verse. Show me a verse in the Quran saying that Jibril is a spirit. Can you? Jibril is one being called the spirit. Where, where? Okay, show me where it Quran. says. Where it says in the Quran. What's wrong with you? Why you cannot show me? So I want you to. I want you to admit. I I want you to admit that there's no single verse in the Quran saying Jibreel is a spirit. No, I I, I wouldn't admit to that. That's a lie. If I say that. So why you are saying then he is a spirit? How you can confirm that he is a spirit if the Quran, if said. your God never said so? Why you are lying then? You want me to say something that is opposite to the Quran? You are the one saying that. You are the one saying that Jibreel is a spirit, and the Quran never said that, and you agreed. So the Quran never said that Jibreel is a spirit, but the yet you are saying that Jibreel is a, Gabriel is a spirit. Where? Show me. You are trying to change that spirit now, Abdul. Don't what tell me I'm like, trying to change. No, no, Everybody yes, is okay. laughing. You see, you I, mean, I am losing my I'm losing my patient with your kid. Okay. Can you show me a verse? It says that Jibreel is a spirit. I will tell you why why it is Jibril. Why why no don't tell me why can you show me because you learn God. about your God from your God. I mean, you don't learn about your God from I mean, ultimate I mean, fault. So I'm asking you, where is the verse in the Quran that says that Jibreel is a spirit? Did Allah said I send him my spirit? Yes, he said no. I send my spirit. Yes, my spirit. But you are lying. He said our spirit. My spirit, our spirit. Our, my, our spirit. Okay, guys, he said our spirit. So according to him, our spirit is not my spirit. Did you hear it? According to him, when Allah he says our spirit, it's not the same as my spirit. Explain. Oh, you, you don't know the difference between our. You and explain. Mine. You no, no, I don't know the difference. I want. I want to know from you what the, the it difference our, between our spirit house, and my and spirit. It is my house. Uh -huh. you, you don't know the difference between our. No, mine? no, I do not know. Our you tell me. No, you tell me. Tell me. What does that mean? I'm not here to to teach you English, brother. Okay, no problem. If you don't know. The, 
If you don't know the difference between mine and ours, okay, you are dumb. Okay, you everybody, are dumb. everybody will I laugh know at you. you don't know the difference okay. between. Okay. Between so Simon explain and, uh, to us, and, uh, no, no, and, this is and, religious. And, uh, here, this is religious and, uh, meaning. This is a deep thing. Explain and, to us what the difference between Allah saying, "Hold on, Abdul, potato, that, potato, 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 demon, potato." Right? Everybody is dying, laughing at right? you. I want you to you explain told, to me what demon. the difference between Allah saying that, our right? spirit and my spirit. What, I taught you that thing, right? No, no, you, no, right? I, no. I will learn from you what the difference you, between I, my spirit. You know for me that woman discharge is not Ab semen. Abdul, no, I learned yes. from I learned from you that women discharge is a semen. This is what the Quran says, and this is what your prophets say. Don't stop lying. <laughs> now don't change that. the topic. We'll go back. I promise you, after we finish this, we go there. Now answer me. What the difference between Allah saying my spirit and our spirit? I'm listening. I said uh, if the spirit was the Holy Spirit, mm. you see how you said God, the, the Father, mm. the the Holy Spirit, you never Christian never said our Holy Spirit. No, they said the 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 yeah because he, because that's God the Holy Spirit. That's God but because okay. this is not this is, this is okay, let me finish. Okay, hold on. Let me finish. Okay, let me finish though. You ask a question. Okay, you, you can let me answer though. Does the Quran says the Holy See? Spirit? Does the Quran say the Holy Spirit? That's why I, I'm not. That's why I told you, Allah said we sent him our. If Allah would have been saying. My spirit, me as a spirit, me Allah, that, that's how you want to look at it. You think that's Allah that changed into the Holy Spirit that went to Mary. I know what you got in your mind. It's not it. If, if, if that would have been it, Allah would have said, I sent him the spirit. Mm. Because it, it wouldn't be even my spirit. Because that spirit that mm. you're talking about is not the spirit of the father. Mm. If this, I'm asking now. Spirit, stop playing. Father, stop playing games. The son, stop playing games. Did Allah, know, when Allah is sent, when, when Allah is sent, father, when Allah stop playing son, games, stop father, playing, please. stop stop playing the games. Where in I'm the Quran? Playing, I'm where teaching you in logic, the Quran? I'm teaching you English. No, I'm I don't want you. You, you do not even you, know how to read your 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 prophet name in Arabic. Your religion, all of it in Arabic, is not in English. So answer me now. What is the proof you are coming with that there is a difference between our spirit? And the spirit, and how you can prove to me that Jibreel is the spirit? Where we can find that? Let me get you busted fast and easy. The Quran prove you to be a hypocrite and to be a liar because the Quran in chapter seventy-eight, verse number thirty-eight, it says, "One day on the day, which means judgment day, when the angels and the spirit stand in ranks, how the angels are the spirit, but they are not one." I told you, Angel Gabriel. Did they, 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 no answer me. Don't tell me. Tell me. Don't, the angel, here, the, the verse saying, Allah saying, not me, that the angels and the spirit they will stand in ranks. If if Jibreel is an angel, then this is a mistake because you should not say the angels and the spirit when all of them they are the spirit. And if Jibreel okay. is a spirit, that's mean okay, the angels me. are the spirit too. Let me ask you: okay. Is only okay, only is? Oh, hold on, hold on, Abdul. Everybody is laughing. Okay, let me, you, no, no, you, no. Let me, but let me answer that though. Let me answer though. Okay, go. You ask me a question. Let me answer you, though. Go ahead. You said, "How can Allah said the angels and the spirit was standing?" Right? Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. Did you ask the question? Or, or, or yes or no? Go ahead. I'm listening. Do you want to answer or not? Please. Okay. So shut up and let me answer. <laughs> now, yes, you gotta shut up and let me answer. Don't just run around like like a donkey. Okay. The donkey is okay. your. By the way, your prophet okay, he married from a woman. His last name is donkey. So answer. don't call me donkey. Go ahead. Uh, don't call you what you said like a donkey your prophet last name is dogs and he married from a woman last her last her last name is donkey so why you okay. insult people with such a name your prophet he hold them both you 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 don't have any last name so what's the difference well you are saying to me you're like a donkey but you're a prophet he married you, from you, a woman you, you, her you last name, name her last, last name is donkey no and, his, and he himself so the and he himself his last name is dogs. so stop name, using those words now answer, now answer right. how in the world my, my, allah my he don't allah he differentiates shut up shut up potato how allah he differentiate between angels and spirit if this let, okay, let, let me answer you. Go ahead, we're listening. If you say all Americans, the president of the United States if, and all Americans was really saddened by the death of of of, of uh, this guy. Mm. So it that does it make the, the, the president of the United States not, not being an American? 
What does that mean? I mean, this is stupid. What does have? To, what does this example the have to do with this? Of the United my friend, States my friend, all Abdul, Americans Abdul, here is about the kind you don't care. This is about the, this is about the kind. There is angels. Those are not like American. Human being, okay. But got a different okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Hold on. Move on. If you can understand that, you are dummy. Okay. So, so what we understand from you now? So what we understand from you now that angels and spirits, all of them, they are American. I'm gonna educate you today, <laughs> I'm going today. Abdul answer how Allah he differentiate between the angels and the spirit if angels are a spirit the same way we differentiate the president of the and the people mm -hmm. and and the president just like me and you but we cannot differentiate here because the spirit are angels and the angel are spirit I asked you where in the Quran it says that Allah he sent Jibreel you said to me he sent the spirit he sent the spirit he, he sent the, the spirit so we, being, cannot we cannot we cannot differentiate we cannot differentiate then here Allah he make them two he says the angels and the spirit they will stand their ranks if they are the angels are the same as the spirit that will be a mistake in the Quran is the president of the United States uh, an American stop playing games man what what the president of your state here is talking about angels who they are all, all, all of them they are servants of Allah supposedly and he is saying he is the, the angels, angels okay hold on hold on that is so, let the people okay let me ask Allah you hold on hold on everybody, 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 everybody will love more them? I want to ask like you I want you I want you to confirm Mr. Trump brother brother Mr. Trump brother brother Mr. Farr ultimate Farr brother brother listen are you confirming to me that all the angels are spirit or you are saying no I am telling you is all no don't angels, tell me don't no no you, you, you see when you answer nothing you say angel, I am telling you uh, and you don't say nothing question, though. no I want an answer are you confirming that the angels are the spirit yes or no I'm telling you the only angels being called spirit is angel Gabriel what how, is how you how you know that how you know that because that's what throughout the Quran that's okay hold on Quran. okay hold on hold on hold on so the early angel while calling spirit is uh, Jibreel is the is Jibreel is made of okay when is he, he being sent to people are you Allah okay said, are you saying okay hold on hold on, hold on hold on hold on are you saying that Jibreel is not made from the same quality of the other angels he is different kind of angel he is the only one is a spirit Unless you believe Donald Trump is not like you us. see it answer me you stop be being, stop being stupid you you are silly. I'm asking you human being. are you saying you according to us uh, uh, shut up they're not different they just got a, 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 a different don't call me again you see why I hang up on you you are stupid in donkey I keep asking you the same question I want I want an answer you, you listen I do listen I will teach you the last chance for you you are you so dummy you can even learn the last chance for you shut up last chance is the angels or the spirit yes or no no shut up and get lost Only get me a muslim being get me a muslim who can answer me you are a donkey you do not know your religion it's recorded everybody will laugh at you and by the way last time you said to me you follow rashad khalifa which proved that you are not a muslim because rashad khalifa proven to be not a muslim When you say that the angels are not spirit, and then you say that Jibreel is a spirit, that's mean Jibreel is made from different thing, and he's not an angel. Why well, he's called an angel? Liar, you will die in fire. But because the Quran is a joke, let me tell you, Trump, what does have to do with the Trump? The president of the United States, what president of the United States? No, not a single verse in the Quran saying Jibreel is the spirit or he is a spirit, not even one. Nowhere. Allah, he sent his spirit and appeared to Mary as a perfect man. Different verses says that Allah, he sent the angels to Mary, not one. Nowhere it says, why Allah don't say we send Jibreel? I mean, can't Allah say we send Jibreel to Mary? He did not say that. And here you notice the confusion of this cult. First of all, he said he did not know if Allah, who is Allah? And he said that Allah is not a spirit. Then when we said to him, so who is Allah? He said, I don't know. So I'm so glad that you admitted that you as a Muslim, you do not know who is Allah. And you are worshipping just a name. You are a pagan person.
you are literally a pagan person and how God can be God if he isn't a spirit because the spirit is life that's mean your God is a dead God is an idol you see even Muhammad because he's a fool he is a liar when they come to him and they ask him about the spirit Muhammad he went for a couple of weeks and he came back he says only Allah knows <laughs> Look at this verse, chapter 17, verse number 85. They are asking thee concerning the Spirit, say, the Spirit by the command of my Lord. What is the answer? They are asking you, what is the Spirit? They are not asking you who commanded. This is why we spend the last two hours talking about nothing, but he could not tell us what is even the Spirit. What does Spirit mean in Islam? He don't know. They don't know. Because Allah himself do not know, Muhammad himself do not know. As you see, they ask him the question, he took him a couple of weeks, and he come with this verse which is very silly. They are asking thee concerning the spirit, okay? Now Allah is answering. Can't Allah tell us what is the spirit? He cannot. He says the, the spirit is from the command of Allah. <laughs> what does that have to do with the question? What does this have to do with the question? Imagine I ask you what is watermelon you say watermelon is in the kitchen of Allah I'm not asking you what is wh wh who command them who control them who chop them. I'm asking you. What is watermelon? This is how much stupid this cult is they copy words from different religion, but they do not know the meaning of them This is why if we ask a Muslim Okay, the Quran says Israel. Who is Israel? They don't know. Where in the Quran we can learn who is Israel? Uh, by the way, the guy here, he said that he is the one who corrected me that the women sperm, the women have no sperm. Did he say that? Did he say that? He corrected me? Okay. And I promise him not to forget that, so we have to keep our promise. This is your Islamic website. And this is the, the the tafsir which Muslims they keep asking me to open it, open it. You know, when we speak about the satanic verses, the Muslim they wanted to make a theory. This is your Quran, you idiot. You are the one who explained to me that women have no sperm. Are you sure? That's mean you are a person who agree that Allah is a liar. This is your Quran, and this is your interpretation, and this is the verses in the front of us. And this is Ibn Kathir. Read carefully. It is me who explained to you that this, the, the, the sexual fluid is not the semen of the women. You are right. Read carefully and laugh. He created it from water gushing forth, meaning sexual fluid. Guys, if sexual fluid is not the semen, but that sexual fluid will make the baby. What is that sexual fluid? Read carefully. That comes gushing forth, bursting forth from the man and the women. That is the come of the man and the come of the women. And then your prophet, he said, proceeding from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. And then your prophet, he explained more, saying that the child will not be born without it. And he said it clearly that. Proceeding from the backbone of the and the ribs, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, i.e., the fluid is yellow and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them, i.e., their sexual fluid, flu, flu, uh, fluid. And then your prophet he said that the sexual fluid of the man is white and thin, and obviously this is the sperm of the man, and the sexual fluid of the women is thin and yellow. So why you are lying? And then he continues saying, Verily he is able to bring them back to life. That's mean he will be able to return the man created from the fluid gushing forth. A gushing forth fluid will make the baby. What is this gushing fluid? Let us see and ask Muhammad. Muhammad he knew for sure less than ultimate fault ultimate fault he is all knowledgeable <laughs> okay uh muhammad he said 
remember here Muhammad he said not me a woman she come to him and she said should a woman wash her vagina if she have this charge a woman her name uh, Umm Salim later she offered herself to Muhammad to F her to F her and she is his auntie too in the same time so she said oh Allah apostle does a woman not Allah does not refrain from saying the truth she want to say the truth about her vagina something happened to her vagina everybody have to know is it a, a, a is it a must for a woman to take a bath after she have sexual discharge Huh? What Muhammad he said? Look, he's talking about what? About washing her vagina, something in her vagina, a liquid. You see that in the vagina. Muhammad he claimed that yes, and the Muslim she said, huh? Does a woman have this charge? Because this is the wife of Muhammad, never have this charge. The wife of Muhammad never have this charge ever, because Muhammad never had sex with her. So Allah Apostle said, yes, then why does the child resemble the mother? So you stupid fool, you said to me that the Quran does not say that women have a semen. Yet you're a prophet speaking about washing that liquid in her vagina and claim that this is the one will make the child resemble the parent, which is the mother in this case. Stupid donkey. Your God and your prophet do not know how the baby is created. Now, here we can find another reference explaining this. You go in the hadith, you will find the following. Muhammad explained how the sexual fluid come and where it's collected. The prophet said, when a drop of semen remains in the womb for 40 or 50 days, which is absolutely false because semen can live maximum of five days inside the women, maximum. More than that, it's impossible. And here Muhammad, he explained himself that he is a false prophet again, claiming that God told him that. So you're a prophet saying that the drop of semen remains in the womb for 40 or 50 days in the form of semen and then after that the transform will start it and you can see the same reference in many places as you see so when muhammad he says read carefully allah the exalted the glory glorious has appointed an angel as the create taker of the womb he would say oh my lord it's now a drop of semen it is now a clot of a blood clot of a blood <laughs> and this is exactly what the Quran said read carefully another hadith the same thing the same thing this is a very strong hadith it is not it is not uh, Muslims they can play and they say this is not accepted or rejected so you will see here that the God of Islam and by the way here even Muhammad he says that the last stage of the creation of the baby at the end the angel asked Allah to make him a male or female but according to science from the first second it's confirmed if it's a male or a female not at the end that is a lie additional lie we add to Muhammad all the hadith confirm that the semen stay in the mother for 40 days and then become a clot for a similar period and they become a lump of a flesh for a similar period so the total creation of the human being is 120 days which is absolutely stupid and false again and the story continue and when muhammad he said that the man and the women when they have sex that is this is charge of the women is the one who decide how the baby resemble the mother he was talking about the women having a semen that's why the quran says in chapter 86 verse number seven six and seven that the baby is 
created by a sexual fluid coming from the man and the women from the women case is from the ribs of the women as you see now if we ask the Abdul what is the sexual fluid if we go by this stupid who wanted to explain to us how the sexual fluid is not semen let us go with that let us assume is not a semen it doesn't say semen so what is the sexual fluid will come from the ribs when the women she have this charge in her vagina and how in the world you abdul accept god to say to you that a man he have a sperm coming from the backbone And this is not my interpretation. This is your Islamic scholar's interpretation, and your prophet explained it too. Muhammad, even he gave more details. And he claimed that whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the parents, which is very stupid. Most of Muslim women, they cannot even come because Muslim, they do circumcision for women. So they cannot have orgasm. Read carefully with me here. O Muslim, ask Allah Messenger Allah uh, uh, of Allah about women who sees in her dream something like which men they see. She masturbated. The Messenger of Allah said, if she sees that has and has this charge, then let her perform a bath. Umm Salama said, Oh Messenger of Allah, does that really happen? Which means women that have this charge? He said, Yes. The water of the man is thick and white, and the water of the women is is thin and yellow so here it's confirmed to us what make the parents resemble the children's it is the white liquid of the man in his discharge and you will be an ignorant stupid if you say to me this is not the semen and the yellow liquid of the women which muhammad claiming too they have the same job as the white liquid of the man correct guys Is it clear? Here, Muhammad is getting the Abdul busted. Busted. It says it clearly that the baby is created by this liquid, and he's making the thin yellow liquid of the man in her vagina. Is he called it water, and the the white thick liquid of the man he called it water. Both are water. In the in the translation they call it discharge, but in Arabic it's called uh, water. Water. That's why the Quran says we created you from water. Actually, even here it says the word water too. If you see in the here, it says water, right? Even in this area. In their Muslim translation, yes, the water of the man and the water of the woman. Do you see it? So Muhammad didn't differentiate between them and he says this is water and that is not water. He called them both water. The water of the man and the water of the women. The water of the man is white and thick. The water of the women is thin and yellow. So if the water of the man make the baby and the water of the women make the baby. So how you can say to me this is not Muhammad is not meaning that women she have a semen. right anyone will ask questions or not with the topic in the chat being silly i will ban you this is here for adult not for kids this is just a warning what do you say muslims so this guy this guy he says i am the one who explained to you that women have no semen you are a donkey you cannot explain to me explain to your prophet first you explain to me how your prophet called them both water 
and he described them as equal and both of them they will make the baby look at the parents whoever comes first the baby will resemble the, resemble the parents See how they lie and how they and you know the second you start asking them a serious question how you say you Christian they, they keep lying they say to us we believe in three gods and then he quote for me a verse saying Jesus said that your father is your God so you Muslims are liars you see the Muslims they for they form questions to fit with their propaganda and their agenda have nothing to do what would believe the same as their God their God, he claimed that the Christian, they say that Allah is Jesus, but the Christian don't believe in Allah, and the Christian don't believe that Jesus is the Father. We believe in three persons. And if you say to me that this is impossible, well, that's impossible for God to be called Almighty too, because there's nothing impossible for God. Either you believe that God is Almighty, or you believe God is half mighty. Or a court are mighty, and that can be explained in Islam. In Islam, Allah is not Almighty. This is why Allah He says in the Quran, "How Allah He can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend." Because simply Allah cannot be Almighty. Why? He cannot have a son unless he have a girlfriend. So the God of Islam He understood Christianity wrong again, the same as those Abdul. Allah, he think that the Christian believe that God have sex with the women. Her name is Mary and they have a baby son. His name is Jesus. And this is explain how stupid and ignorant the one who fabricate the Quran about everything, not only about science, even about a simple thing like that. What is the Trinity is about? I never heard of somebody is silly as much as the author of the Quran. God saying how he can have a son if you don't have a girlfriend. Why do the God of the Christian have a girlfriend? <laughs> you know, for this is to be accurate to be as an answer. If we believe that God have a girlfriend, hmm? do Christian believe in such a thing? No. So what this is stupid verses about? How can he have a child when he has no girlfriend? Look at this. Allah is almighty, but he cannot have a child without having a girlfriend. He is limited like me and you. A man, he cannot have a son without having a woman. A woman, she can't have a son without a man. That's Allah logic. And he is saying, I am the same as, as you. How I can have a son if I don't have a girlfriend? But in fact, because the one who made this verse in the Quran is just a normal man. He was speaking about how he imagined the answer should be. He is using his unlimited fort wisdom or ultimate fort. Now, we mentioned three things already. Allah do not know the judgment day. Allah do not know how the human created by the help of this guy and now let us go to the, set, the number three Allah do not know anything about astronomy Allah he believed that the Sun not only sit in the murky water there's a sitting place for the Sun the same is there is a rising place for the Sun Allah speaking about a guy, his name Zul Qurnain, which means the man with the two horn. And here we notice how Muhammad he quoted exactly the name as is quoted in a fiction story, 
written by a Syrian author about Alexander the Great. So, which means he used a real figure, but he made the fiction stories about him. Zul Qurnayn, the man with the two horn. If you ask the Muslims who is he, everybody give you his opinion. They do not know. But most of the Islamic scholars they agree that he is the one who built the city of Alexandria, which is obviously Alexander the Great. And then they say, Lu, we made him strong in the land. Allah made Alexander the Great, who was a homosexual, bisexual, strong in the land. Is he, he is his prophet, his messenger now. And he follow a road till when he reached the sitting place of the sun. You see, the Muslim here they try to fabricate and the answer, and they say, Oh, oh, he is not saying that he found the sun sitting in murky water. That's Allah saying that it is the guy he thought that. No, read careful with me. Allah speaking now. Allah saying, Tell he keep walking, following a road, till when he reached the sitting place of the sun. Allah talking. So he arrived where the sun set. I challenge any Abdul to tell me how we found the sunset place. Where the sunset place? Allah is talking, not Zul Qurnayn. They fool you, they lie to you, they say, no, this is not about really. Oh, this is he how he thought. It doesn't say that. And not only this, even the God of the Abdul, Muhammad, he confirmed that. Do the Muslim understand the Quran better than Muhammad, the God of the Abdul? Read carefully what Muhammad said about this. Muhammad was riding his limousine, and there's a guy sitting behind him as usual. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, SAWSFM radio, who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, who asked Muhammad? Muhammad, he cannot keep his mouth shut. I mean, come on, Muhammad. If Muhammad did not say this, Muslim can play more games. But now because of Muhammad, did be poo -poo, now we got them busted. Thank you, Muhammad, for your poo, poo It's priceless. He asked, do you know where this set? Speaking about what? About the sun. I replied, <laughs> come on, Allah and his apostle knows better, knows best. You see, Muhammad always, he liked people. This is why he said, do you know? Do you know? And then you say to him, what? You have to say to him, no, no, prophet. Allah and the prophet know better. Allah know. He uh, have to associate the name of Muhammad with the knowledge of God. So Muhammad, he is asking the question because he want to he wanna show off his knowledge, his knowledge in astronomy. Nobody knows what Muhammad knows. So Muhammad here is schooling everybody about science. Do you know where they said the guy? Oh no, absolutely not, brother. Prophet, there is no way. The Prophet and Allah knows best. And Muhammad here continue giving us is his jewelries, doing his poo, poo He said the Prophet, it say it stay it sits in a spring of warm water. Go and see how many videos the Muslim they are seeing, brother. It doesn't say in the Quran, it's set in murky water. This is how it appeared for him. But in fact, their prophet getting them busted. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim have an objection? This is your prophet, unless you want to say to me, your prophet did not know what Islam is about.
This is a book of lies and the book of gibberish and the book of stupidity. And yet the Muslims, they made tons of verses, tons of videos and movies about science and the Quran, trying to lie to you, fool you, claiming that Quran is a book of science when the Quran is nothing but a book of stupidity. All of those are supposed to exist in the Quran. Tectonics in the Quran. Human sense in the Quran. Colonies in the Quran, cloud seeding in the Quran, animal language in the Quran. Oh, hold on. I like the animal language. I love the animal. This is my favorite, actually, to be honest with you. Because I went to school to learn the animal language. Yeah, I learned it. The, the same one they are trying to make it as a miracle for you. Is nothing but a funny stupid story the Muhammadan they stole from the legion of the Jews it's fiction stories the Jews they teach to their kids that Solomon he said that Allah he taught him the language of the birds and now they are saying this is proving to be true well all of us we knew that all creatures they have their own language you idiot we do not need discovery but why you don't read for us the rest of the story because the rest of the story is hilarious. There's a bird, his name is Al Hudhud. Suleiman, he have an army of birds, and Mr. Hudhud is a colonel in the army. And he did not find him there. Why you don't read the rest of the story? You talk about this is the only thing that Solomon he said that, that God taught me the language of the birds, and now you want to want us to believe that Solomon he understand the language of the birds. But the funny Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but later he understand the ant. I mean, how silly, how stupid. How Allah he taught him the language of the birds, but yet Suleiman he understand the ant when the ant she said to her friends, hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you. And what is driving me more crazy how even the end she knew that the king's name is Suleiman. We will go that later. So Suleiman he learned the language of the birds, but read before. Suleiman is marching with his army of jinn and human and birds. Do you see it, guys? Why you don't tell the people that in the story Suleiman have an army of genie and human and chicken? Make a cartoon about it. We have a king, he have an army, have three armies. One is from genie, one is from a human, and one is from a chicken. General Chicken, want to see the king? Rooster, do you have any news for me? You are talking like a duck today. Oh, you, I thought you are a rooster. You are a duck. Okay, what do you want to say to me? So you are from the brigade of ducks. An army of birds. I mean, Trump, he have Marines. Trump, he have Navy. Trump, he have Air Force. Trump, he started now a, a Space Force, but he don't have an army of a chicken. How he can win a war? The best army is the one who contains three armies, human, genie, and birds. And this is God is talking? And then Suleiman, he arrived to the valley of ants. Hello? Is that valley of ants? Is that the Silicon Valley? So in your holy book, there is a valley. It's called the valley of ants. Why? Do you find a place in this earth there's no ants in it? Are you saying this is where ants live only? They have a state, United States of ants? So 
the Suleiman he arrived to the value of the ants and one of the ants she said oh ants enter your dwelling otherwise Suleiman will crush you question ants are deaf you idiot they are deaf and they are mute and they don't speak so what do you mean here it says that he smiled at her speech the end she was making a speech are you sure What do you mean the ant is talking? The ant doesn't talk. The ant, they, they, they communicate by vibration or chemical. That's it. They don't hear even the sound. They vibrate. They knock at each other's body. Or by chemical. So if there is a danger or there is food, they leave marks of chemical. And those who they are making like bridges or etc. over their body, they use the vibration. But they don't hear. They don't talk. They communicate, communicate, yes, but they don't talk. The Quran says in Arabic that he laughed for her speech. He, which means he heard her speech. In order for Suleiman to understand the language of the ants, he have to sniff not to hear. He have to go between them and they vibrate over his body. Not by hearing her speech by the way if you don't like this translation we can change it for you you know customers come first what translation you like abdul seriously what translation you like you see here we spoil you you're yusuf ali yusuf ali here we go maybe yusuf ali will be more so for, for you huh? at length when they come to the lowly valley of ants one of the ants said it doesn't say said said go right now to type in google ants are deaf and mute what said they communicate yes which means they have a language yes but their language have nothing to do with saying words and then the ant she said to the ants oh ants i'm so glad she just said oh cats I mean, she have to say, oh, ants. I mean, look how smart this ant is. She did not say, oh, cats. She did not say, oh, dogs. She did not, oh, ants. Why was she expecting somebody else to understand what she is saying? So she have to say, oh, ants, especially this is in the case of alarm. So in the case of alarm, I have people coming to kill my people. And I say, oh, human, run. Well, why the others will understand me too? And then, O oh, ants, get into your habitation, lest Solomon and his host crush you. Question How the ant she knew the name of Solomon? I understand that Allah he taught Suleiman the language of the birds, but yet he understand the language of the ants. <laughs> I understand that the ants are deaf and mute, but yet the Quran said her speech. But how now the ant, she knew that the king's name is Solomon. Because they said, it said what she said. Guys, does it say that she said to them that? She said to them, Suleiman will crush you. How she knew his name is Suleiman. Somebody saying, why CP, he repeat the same thing again? Should I make for you a new book, my friend? And if you'd like to, le to hear something repeated again, why you are coming back? Very silly. Go to mommy. Mommy, she was changing your diaper for a long time, repeating the same thing again. A Muslim he's upset why you are repeating the same thing. This is very embarrassing. So what I should do for you change the Quran Bring me a new Quran. So we will stop talking about this one 
Why you Muslim repeat the same Quran? Bismillah, and you don't understand it. Eh? You don't speak Arabic. You can't understand what Muhammad is saying, and you have no idea how to to, to what, what the point of this. But you never complain of your repeating. As long as he mentioned repeating, let me show you how silly Islam is. <clears throat> the Muslims they recite the chapter of Al Fatiha five times a day. What chapter? Al Fatiha. This is the chapter of Al Fatiha. Bismillah, Allah, Man, Allah, Alhamdulillah, Ilah, Abul, Alamin, Allah, Man, Allah, Maluk, Yom, Adin, Ya, Kana, Abul, Wa, Ya, Kana, Stain, Nadin, Sirat, Al, Mustakim, Sirat, Al, Ladi, Anam, Taliyah, Wa, Madul, Aladin, Wa, Nadalin. Okay. Five times a day, saying the same stupid thing. Tereden, 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 tereden. Allah never answered the phone. You have to call him in time. Specific time, and then you start reciting the same stupid thing. How boring, how silly, how stupid. Especially, this is not even you saying that. This is what Allah said. Why you say to Allah what He said? Imagine a guy, he called me five times a day and he repeat what I said to him. Not only I will block him, I will delete my Skype forever. What is that? Say something, man. You call God, say something to him. But you call God and you say to what to God, what God said? How silly. <coughs> but my favorite chapter in the Quran is anyone remember the muslim they quote always for us who remember there's a chapter it's called al kafirun chapter 109 one of the most silly stupid chapter ever say oh kuffar i worship not what you worship and you worship not what i worship and i will not worship what you worship because you will not worship what I worship, and I will not worship what you worship, because you will never worship what I worship, and you have your worship, I have mine. This is the most silly, stupid chapter ever. Let me change one word in the chapter. I will make it, I will not worship, I will change it to eat. Oh, kuffar, I will not eat what you eat, and you will not eat what I eat, because you will not eat my eat, and I will never eat what you eat, because you will never eat what I eat, for I have my food and you have yours. I mean, this is deep. This is absolutely deep. I have my hummus, you have your falafel. What is the intelligence? This is God is talking. And by the way, this is proving to be wrong because later those people who say to them, you will never believe in what I believe, they converted to Islam when Muhammad, he conquered them. So here Muhammad, he made a false prophecy. And Muhammad himself, he worshipped their gods. And if you don't believe me, read the satanic verses. What kind of religion this religion is? The one who made this chapter, he is suffering from diarrhea, repeating the same sentence. We get it. I worship not what you worship. Which is obviously mean they worship not what you worship. So what this is drama is about? What if we change the word I worship to fart? I fart not as you fart, and you will not fart as I fart, because I will never do fart as you fart, and you will never do as I fart, because my fart is my fart, and your fart is yours. And now we understand why the guy, he accepts to call himself the ultimate fart. What is this? This is God? Oh, what about the chapter where about you can eat in your house? But let's, let's just, you know, I decided to remind people about this verse because it's really funny. What chapter, what chapter? Who want to refresh my memory? I'm getting old here. I, I, I already passed the 17 years old age. What was the chapter about you can eat in your home? Let us see how many of you are learning. Since I became 17, I'm, I'm losing memory. What chapter? 
26 no what's wrong uh, look like this guy he became 18 is losing memory too <clears throat> what chapter 24 24 look at the wisdom of Allah nobody have a wisdom like this I mean nobody no blame is there upon the blind no blame upon the lame no blame upon the sick no blame upon yourself if you eat in your home that's that's deep I think Allah it took him more than a century to think about making a verse saying that if you are a blind you can eat in your home and if you are a lame you can eat in your home and you yourself even if you are not a blind neither sick you can still eat in your home wow that's deep And you are telling me that the Quran is not made by the mighty God and the Muslim they say to you can you make Quran like this let me make another verse here no blame if you watch TV in your TV and no blame if you drink from your faucet and no blame if you piss in your toilet seat and no blame upon you if you sleep in your bed what that's deep and then the wisdom of Allah you see you see my English is funny but I find sometimes my funny English is helping me to understand Islam better with English look at this with um this is how I see the wisdom of Islam This is the most dumb book ever you can imagine. And then Allah, he extend his wisdom. He says, or you can eat in the house of your father. If, if, if. I never thought I can eat in the house of my father. But thanks to Allah who enlightened me. Before that day, we were ignorant. I used to eat in the in the in the neighbor house, not in the house of my father. I thought it's haram. Where people eat, if, if, you are telling people you can eat in your houses. Don't you think it's too late to tell us? <laughs> and then, <clears throat> or the houses of your mother, or the houses of your brother, or the houses of your sister. I mean, he have to count everybody's guy. He, he, nothing is left behind. Even the houses of your father, or brother, your father, your mother, or sister. I mean, everybody. And then Allah, He bring the big dish. Look what He said. This is very, very, very serious. No sin shall it be for you, whether you eat together or apart. <laughs> thank you, Allah. Thank you. I was suffering badly thinking that I'm committing a big sin for I'm eating alone. Now I know why some people, they have a dog at home, brother, because it's haram to eat alone. Alone or apart? It's not haram. It's not sin. Thank you. Thank you. So what we learn today from this madness that this book cannot be from God. I mean, look at this. By the way, we showed you nothing yet. I mean, we are just uh, scratching the surface of it. I'm trying not to, to not to break the surface because then the smell will come so bad. If there is any Muslim here, he does agree with us. If there is an, a Muslim here, he speaks the language of ants. Hey, by the way, why Allah taught only Suleiman the language of the birds? <laughs> language of birds, how nice. Hello?
Hello. Hello. Yeah. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Okay, what do you want to say to us? You are live on air. Are you a Muslim? This is Chris and Chris? Yes. Oh, why are you hanging up people? Yeah, are you ultimate fart? You hanging up on him. You are but you are him. How you say upon him if you are him? You are very no, confused. You, you see, you are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are the same as Allah. He keeps saying him, but you are him. Why you are no, saying no. him when you are Allah Himself? I'm Talzo. You are who? Talzo. Farzo. Okay, Farto. Nice to meet you. He's Tanzo. <laughs> the potato. He think if he changes his voice, will make it a different. Why you hang up upon him? Now go speak the language of the birds and call me. Oh. They cannot answer us. They don't know who is Allah. They do not know what he is made of. They don't know what his nature. They don't even know what Allah means. Muhammad never spoke to Allah. Never met Allah. So those people they are worshiping a known person who was exist before Islam as a name, which is a pagan name. But yet nobody knows who is he. Nobody knows where the name coming from. Do you remember when we have a discussion with Dr. Ruhi, the guy who have a PhD from Al Azhar University? He said nobody knows who's Allah. The same we heard from Dr. Uh, what is his name, Nabil Bayekli. In my debate with him, he said, Nobody knows who's Allah. Who is the stupid one who worships somebody? Nobody knows who's he. They do not know, you know, is Allah is a spirit? Every Muslim give you a different answer, by the way. Ask this question to the Muslims Is Allah is a spirit? You will see a person who is 60 years old, yet he do not know if Allah is a spirit or not. In Islam, Allah isn't a spirit. So, what is he? A person you worship, he is God, he has no spirit, and he is not a spirit. This means he's dead. Spirit simply, spirit is power of life. Spirit is life, power of life. You see, when God he created Adam, he gave him a spirit. What is that? The source of life gave life. From his spirit gave him life. So if Allah is not a spirit and he has no spirit, he has no life. He's a dead God. And this is why when they ask Muhammad, what is the spirit? Muhammad, he could not come with an answer. He says, only Allah knows the spirit is from the command of my Lord. What do you mean the spirit is the command from your Lord? He have no answer. Even the one who made the Quran, which is supposedly Allah, he do not know what is a spirit. He do not know what they're asking you what is a spirit. They are not asking you who command the spirit. What is the answer? It's obviously that the one who wrote the Quran is suffering very much from a drugs it's called hashish sometime heroin in the best scenario cocaine and the funny chapter 17 verse number 88 it says verily though mankind and the jinn should assemble to produce the like of this quran but they cannot produce you are right. Can you produce a book? It says that women she have a sperm coming from her ribs. You cannot. Allah only can. You know, the Arab are making fun of the Quran 24 hours, seven days a week, and Allah is saying to them, Can you make a foolish book like this foolish book? What a challenge. And later we find, if you remember yesterday, the video yesterday, we showed you how Muhammad copied Umar, claiming that Allah he said to him, Do you remember? 
And then the Abdul who called me, he refused to read the hadith. How Allah, he quote Umar and he make his quote Quran. How you say nobody can make Quran but you copy Umar? How you say genie and mankind cannot make Quran? And then you take what Umar said and you make a Quran exactly as he said. Today we don't have many people. We have only 835. I'm not sure why. I look like maybe because it's Friday and people are busy. They may be going out. Uh, maybe they are uh, waiting for uh, the terrorist uh, attack. In case you do not know, Germany, the blessed country, by having a lot of terrorists, Germany became the nest of terrorism after England. Germany arrested 10 Abdul just 15 minutes before I open my broadcast today. 10 Abdul who were preparing to do attack using trucks and guns to kill as many as possible from the non-believers who is the one publishing this news is the official government Deutsche Ville TV not mine killing the unbelievers according to the initial investigation the accused were planning to use vehicles and firearms to kill as many and believers as possible. They had rented a large vehicle and made contact with weapons dealers and started to raise funds. So the Abdul, during the last 15 days or a few months, they were collecting donation for those beautiful, peaceful brothers who they are going to go over you in the street in Germany. And yet the stupid counselor of Germany, she want to bring more of them. Stupid Western. No comment. Killing the unbelievers. But the brother, Islam is peace. Brother, did you see the guy in New Zealand, brother? The guy in New Zealand, he was inspired by Muslims. This is the truth. Why nobody want to say the truth? Everything he did, it was because what he learned from Muslims. It is the Muslims who go inside the place, start shooting people. And the, the irony is, the guy, he killed 50 people. This is exact number. The Muslim he killed in Florida, when he entered a gay club, he killed 50 gays in one night. We did not see people striking. We did not see people, uh, uh, the Muslim raising the flag of the gays to support the gays. As we saw this funny, stupid prime minister of New Zealand playing Quran, Quran what? And not only that, she caught, she caught a, a hadith from Muhammad says that the believers are the same as a body. So when a body is broke, all the body joined together. But Muhammad was talking about the believers. Why you are quoting that, you idiot? You don't know what she's quoting. The believers are one body. Why well, you are quoting that verse? You are not part of it. Stupid women. You are quoting what terrorists they quote. That all of us, we should join and do jihad. So she is quoting for them in her speech that the believers are the same as one body. When one is injured, the whole, the rest of the body will join together. So she was encouraging the Abdul around the world to wage jihad. This is what happened to you when you choose a stupid leader to be a leader of your country. And she will lose the coming election for sure. 
and actually even the Muslims they are making fun of her for how stupid she is don't you see it says the believers are you a believer in Muhammad this is not about you why are you are quoting that <laughs> I wish she was going to court, but you know, obviously, a Muslim he gave her that speech so she can read it. Why she did not read for us? Yes, isn't it nicer that Muslims are the best of mankind, and the best of mankind mean the best of people for the people? Who, as you bring them with the chains around their necks until they embrace Islam? See how nice Islam, fascist cult, fascism. Yes, Abdul. Yeah, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> what happened to you? Uh, I want you to. Uh, I want to show a hadith to you. No, uh, why you don't read this hadith for us in the screen? Because uh, that's the topic of the woman in New Zealand. Okay, no, I'm talking about this hadith now. We passed that. Why, what do you think about your prophet saying that the best of Muslims, the best of mankind are the Muslims because they put chains around the neck of people? Yeah, to save you from hellfire. Okay, so if I if I put a chain around your neck to make you Christian, is that fine for you? If your religion is the truth, yes. Ah, so because your religion is the only truth, you can you are allowed to put the chains around the neck of people. Yes. Uh, so you think you can, uh, so you think a human being as are dogs. You can leash you can have a leech on them. Where are you gonna Huh? I lost you. So stop seeing the internet of the neighbors. Abdul, are you there? Abdul, he never he never pay for the internet. They never pay for a credit card, they never pay for internet. Okay, Abdul. So yes. why you are saying it's okay to put chains around the neck of a human being? Yes. So why? Why? So what does that mean? Uh, uh, everyone is not a Muslim. He's not a human for you. Okay. Imagine you're in hellfire. You're screaming, uh, "Ya Allah, take me out of hellfire!" And you, and you no, wish we don't. You but we are not screaming, "Oh Allah, take us from hellfire." We don't. We are. Do you see? Do you hear us screaming that? No. Okay. No, but you're gonna. Why, why you? Why Islam teaching you that you are you are the best of mankind and the rest are animals, so we can put leech around their necks? What kind of religion like this is? Oh, it doesn't say your animals. It, it says that. No, it says that when you put a you, when you put a chain around the neck of a human being, is that a behavior you do with a human or with animals? That's not the topic. This is the topic. It says here in front of us. For they bring them with the chains around their necks. Not only bring them, bring them with the chains. So you have yes. to go and, and you have to go and hunt them and capture them as if they are dogs. And you put a leech around their neck. This is what it says. Mm. Okay. So why, why you think that you are you are better than mankind and the rest of you, the rest of uh, of mankind are animals and we can put a chain around their neck. This is what Islam teaching. This is the value of Islam, right? What is it for? What is it for? You tell me. What is it for? To go to Jannah. What if I don't want to go to Jannah? I don't want to go to your Jannah. Your Jannah is scary. In the Jannah, okay. you a Muslim, they will have sex men with men. I don't like that. Okay. Do you but, like uh, to have sex with men yourself? Do you like to have? Do, do you like somebody to do you in the heaven? Okay, but listen, I want you to. No, no I don't want to listen. I want you to answer. Do you like to go to heaven where somebody will do you? Because the Quran no. says, whatever you wish, any anything you wish in heaven, it will happen yeah. to you. What about uh, having yeah, sex with your mother? Do you like to I'm go to? Good. Do you like to go to heaven where you can have sex with your mother? No, I don't like have sex with my, with so my mother. So why you want to go to that heaven? Why you are so desperate to go and kill people so, so you can go to such a heaven? No, because I'm gonna have sex with uh, my virgins. What virgins? Who are they, those virgins? <laughs> Who are they, those virgins? I'm asking you. Who are they, those virgins? <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing at your God? Huh? <laughs> my friend, can you please uh, read hadith for me? I'm asking, you, 
I'm asking you, what, what? Who are those virgins? The my wives. Allah will create. Your wife? Allah create yes. wives for you, but you never met them yet. How they can be your wives? Uh, you don't know them. You never know them. You never met them. How they can be your wife? I I want you to listen to this conversation and you tell me what do you think. Okay, I'm not trying to listen carefully. Huh? Nothing is sin in heaven. Thank you very much. That's what I'm saying. In the heaven, you can have sex with the goat. It's fine for you, right? Not nothing sin. There's no nothing sin. You can sin. you yes. can have sex with your mother. Okay. Yes. Well, okay. So you can you are proud about having sex with your mother. You and your father, you will have sex with the same woman, which is your mother. <laughs> anything, anything is fun. Everything comes from God in heaven. No problem. So in the heaven of Allah, you will have a threesome. You and your father and your mother in the bed. Okay, and you don't see that there's something wrong with that. What do you not understand about nothing is sin? Well, I, I, sin I'm just trying to understand, my friend. You see, sin. I'm not. So, what do you think, Abdul? Your Muslims, all of them, believe that in the heaven you will have sex with your mother and your father in the same bed, have oh. fun. So, what oh. do you think? Why, why you want people to go to such a heaven where it is obviously an evil and disgusting heaven? Because you are nobody's gonna have sex with his mother. No, that you know, I have tons of Muslims debating me and I agree that this is what it says. Stop does, lying. Does it say in hadith? The Quran says whatever you wish. Whatever you yeah, wish. Whatever wish. Nobody's gonna wish to have sex with his mother. Why? Why not? Why not? Because nobody's gonna have uh, okay, let me the, ask the wish you, for that. Let me ask you, are you allowed to have sex with your daughter in Islam? I don't know. Don't tell me I do not know you are a Muslim, Abdul. You are Abdul. Abdul knows everything. They knew science, they knew everything. Have you ever seen yeah, Abdul? But have you ever, have you ever heard of Abdul? Do not know since when? Come on, all you Abdul know everything. I've watched some of uh, some of your videos, and you say ISIS is Islam. Why you are changing the topic? No, ISIS are not Islam. ISIS are nice people compared to Muhammad. No. What do you mean no? Re read okay. the hadith. I, okay. I said. Okay. Name for me one thing Muhammad did. ISIS did not do. Killing Muslims. Let me ask you, did Muhammad put nails in the eyes of people? They, they uh, ISIS is killing Muslims. No, that, the that, Quran says whoever kills the Muslims are Muslim. Uh, so the ah, uh, so Muhammad he says you can kill only non-Muslims. Isn't that the topic? This, you you said, who said that? You said Mus uh, ISIS are killing Muslims. So the Muhammad he said you can kill only Muslims according to you. What? What? You see, when a Muslim he don't he don't he want to run away from the answer. He says, "What? I'm asking you, Muhammad, did he kill Muslims too, what? or he killed only non-Muslims?" Yeah, or most of them he killed uh, Muslims, but some of them he like uh, stoning to that. But that's a punishment Muhammad, in Sharia. Muhammad, most of the people he killed are Muslims, Muhammad. No, oh, non-Muslims. Uh, why he killed the non-Muslims? Maybe uh, stoning to death for uh, Sharia law for committing uh, okay, maybe why, adultery. Why Muhammad did not stone himself? He committed adultery too. Yeah, he's the prophet of God. He's a messenger. So if he's a prophet, he can commit adultery? No problem in Islam? If he's a, if he's a messenger. Oh, I understand. So if you are a messenger in Islam, you can commit adultery. It's okay. No. So why he did not stone himself? Because he's a messenger. I got that. But he committed adultery. Why he didn't stone himself? He, he needs to complete Allah's message. Ah, so after he complete, he will stone himself. Okay, I got it. Let me ask you: Your prophet, he kissed a stone. Is that because he is a messenger or because he is a, a Muslim? Can we get to my topic, please? Yes, yes, we are going there. I'm just trying to understand your logic. You keep saying to me because he's a messenger, because he's a messenger. So I'm trying to understand. So when your prophet he kissed a black stone, did he kiss it because he is a messenger or because he's a pagan? To. Uh... Because, because it's holy the black stone is holy and why it's holy because it uh, washes your sins and how the stone wash your sin are you a pagan person how how Muslim they say to us we are not pagans yet a stone forgive your sin no it doesn't forgive it, it forgives by the will of Allah so the stone have the will of Allah what the stone has the will of Allah my friend, your logic is so stupid. Okay, I, I am trying to learn from you, my smart friend. You just said because it has the will of Allah. 
stone has the will of Allah to forgive your sin. Oh, by the will of Allah. Uh, okay, uh, who is so the one? Who is the one who erased your sin? Allah or the stone? Allah. But the hadith says it's the stone. Yeah, by the will of Allah. W explain to us how the stone is the one who erased your sin, and then yet you say it's by the will of Allah. Explain, please. <laughs> Wow, you are laughing at your prophet now. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> please just read the hadith, please. Okay, we'll read the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith in front of us. Let me find it. And it may take me a second to find it. All right, you want the hadith? Here we go. Okay, here yeah. we go. Muhammad he says, Whoever touched those two corners, no, 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 uh, the hadith I've sent you. Read this hadith first, and let's see how Allah Prophet He is saying stones they erase your sins. It doesn't say that Allah erases the sin. It says please. the stones. If you touch the stones, they erase your sin. Please read my hadith. I beg you, please. Uh, I, I, okay, I will read the hadith for you. No problem. But answer this. No, no, how, no. My, my hadith. Uh, yeah, no problem. How how if we touch the stones, it's going to erase our sin? Allah says, uh, whoever touches it. Hmm. Like uh, by my will, I will forgive your sins. Where it says that's that? The, Where it says it, that? It doesn't say. Oh, no, that. but that's the meaning. That's the meaning. No, no, no. It's not up to you to say this is the meaning. It says he said. I heard Allah Messenger saying, "Touching them erases sin." Yeah. Okay. Touching them erases sin. That's it. You touch them, your sin automatically is erased. Yeah, you have to kiss them. Oh, you cannot only touch them. You have to kiss them too. Yeah. Okay. So now, why if we? So, so you no, 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 touch, touch. Ah, you touch. Okay. So which one is correct? So why you prophet kiss it then? If touching them is enough, why you prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. You are kissing a stone because the stone is holy. No, because it's from Jannah. But you just said to me a second ago because it's holy. You forgot. Yeah, because okay. it's in Jannah. Okay. So if a stone is coming from Jannah, from heaven, that means it's holy. Of course. What if Allah He sends you a donkey from Jannah? You kiss him too. <laughs> what if He send you? What if He send you a cake of shit from from Jannah? You kiss it. <laughs> Is it holy? I'm asking you. Now we are having a conversation. How how and why Allah He send you a stone from Jannah? What is the point of that stone? I don't know. He knows best. Okay, and uh, the stone erases your sin. So why we need Allah? I made tons of videos against Muhammad and thousands and thousands of Muslims of Islam because of me. Now, all what I need to do, I go and touch the stones, and that's all Christian Prince he did is gone. What do you think? Yeah, Allah is merciful. Wow, that's nice. Okay, yeah. so I can rape children, I can rape women, I can kill, I can steal, and I do drugs, I sell drugs, and then I what I do, I go and touch the stones. No, you repent. Where it says repent, it says here whoever touched them doesn't say if you repent. Yeah, if you're Muslim. What? No, it doesn't. Yeah, say, it doesn't say even uh, you have to be a Muslim. It says whoever touched yeah, them. Referring to Muslims, don't be like this stupid. It's referring to Muslims. Don't be a stupid. I thought to be a Muslim to is to be a stupid. It's a must. <laughs> yeah, I can prove it to you. How somebody he, he claimed to be smart and yet he believed that a stone is holy. Please just read my hadith, please. I'm asking you how somebody claimed to be smart, yet he believed that a stone is holy. You are a smart person, not a stupid, right? Okay. How stone is holy? What holy mean? What holy mean? Yeah. You just said to me the stone is holy. What holy mean? How the stone is holy? I don't what does know. It mean? I don't you know how to what, describe so it. You, so you are saying to me holy, but you do not know what holy mean? Yeah, I know. I know, I know what it means. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Tell me. I'm, le I'm learning. I don't know how to describe it. Oh no, well, how come you are smart? A smart uh, Muslim. Have you ever seen a Muslim not smart? It's impossible. So how a smart Muslim can I describe it? What do you mean by the stone is holy? What does that mean? Uh, it's from Jeddah, right? That's we it. We get that. We get that. Are you going to go zero to zero? You remind me. I went to a Muslim chat uh, website, and I asked them. It's called convert to Islam. I asked them why the Prophet is the stone. They said to me, it's holy. Because it's holy, and I said, "Why it's holy?" They said, "Because he kissed it." So don't be stupid no. again like them. No. 
Because it's from Jannah. Okay, because it's Jannah. But what holy mean? The stone is holy because it's from Jannah. What does that mean? What what is what is holy mean? The stone is holy. What does that mean? Uh, it's uh. Wait, let me just search it real the quick. The stone does not do shit. The stone did not uh, steal. The stone does not lie. What does that mean? Yeah, here's the meaning of it: dedicated or what? Consecrated. No, how how, really, how the stone really how the stone is it. holy? Holy means that somebody never commits sin. It's totally holy. Yeah, I'm, okay. The stone, I'm reading of it. Since when stones ah. commit sin? Have you ever seen a stone commit sin? No. What do you mean no? I thought you are a Muslim. What do you mean? I thought Don't according commit. to Islam, stones they steal. No. Oh, what do you mean? No? I had it, which says Musa was uh, stone was still uh, Musa's clothes. Yes, the Musa's he was uh, <laughs> Musa's was washing his uh, taking a shower, and Allah He sent a, a thief stone and she stole his panty and his wallet and his cell phone. And then Musa's he have to chase the stone, and uh, because Allah wanted to prove that Musa's he have nice testicles. Am I lying? The hate in front of us, read it. Yeah. Okay, so how you say the stone is holy? Stones are thieves. No, my friend, this is different stone. Ah, oh, different stone. This is a different family. They are not the same stones. Why are you so stupid? <laughs> but but this is stone sent by Allah. It's it's it is doing the work of Allah. Allah, have you ever heard of a stone can run? Only in Islam those things happen. How how the stone she stole the clothes? Can you explain to us? Can you okay? If you read my hadith, then maybe I will leave Islam. No, no, my friend, how a stone can steal a cloth? Can you explain to us? You are the smart, we are not. You know, we are not, we are disbelievers. Muslims are the smart people. How the stone she was able to run, explain to us how this happened. Musa, he took off his clothes, as you see, that the Jews they said, that the Israeli they said, that he was afraid to expose his private part because he had suffering from a, a, a disease. And he one day took a bath in a water and placed his garment upon the stone. The stone began to move on quickly. He followed it and he struck it and with the help of a stone saying, Stone, my garment, oh stone, my garment. The stone keep doing that until the stone stopped near a big gathering of the Jews. Netanyahu was there. I mean, all of them. And there, the, and the, this verse revealed uh, about this issue. Okay. Now, is that a miracle or this is a phony tale story? Is that a true story? Yeah. For me, yeah, I believe. You believe in the story. Okay. Uh, who told the stone to steal the clothes of Moses? Who told the stone? Who told the stone uh, to do that? The st did the stone do that because uh, she is working no. with the like, KGB, or who is the one who made the stone run and steal the clothes of Moses? The stone itself. The stone itself. She did that by herself. Yeah. So you must believe that stones are living creatures and they can run and they can steal and they will take your phone and your clothes. No, not now, not now. Oh, not now. Only in the old days they used to that. Today they change. Ah. What? I'm just uh, trying to learn from you. What? Wh how? Who is the one who made this stone do that? Who is? Who is the one who is behind this story? He made the stone steal the clothes and the panties and the underwear of Moses and his cell phone and his wallet and she ran with it. And all of this because Allah wanted the the, the Jews. To see his private part, so no. they will see oh. that his uh, his balls are good and his penis is big. Look, look, it says here. Oh. Okay, my oh. clothes, my clothes. He keep running after it, and then Benu Israel, the children of Israel, had a chance to see his uh, private part of, of Musa's. Like so, the Jews when they saw the the penis of Musa's, they said like, "Wow, look at this!" So Allah He made the stone steal his uh, clothes, so everybody can see his penis. No. What do you mean no? Who is the one who made the stone run? 
It's uh, Allah. Allah, thank you very much. So Allah is the real thief, is not the stone. No. What, what do you mean? The stone is doing Allah work. Is Allah is a stone? No. Is Allah but, is but, but, okay? Did there's I, did I, did there's I, one stupid okay, logic of me, you. I don't okay, understand. What, I don't know. You are saying stupid logic. Maybe I am not smart like you. Was Allah inside the stone when the stone is stole the clothes? No. Okay. How the stone then can run? It's by the will of Allah, not will, but by His like power. By the power of Allah. So the power of Allah is inside the stone now. <laughs> Your logic. <laughs> what I'm just uh, going with you guys isn't him who said that by the power of Allah. So now when we say okay, well, if I say by the gas of Allah, that's mean the gas of Allah is inside the stone. When you say the power by the power of Allah, so the power of Allah is inside the stone. Okay, okay. you win. So okay, you win. The power of In Allah. Okay, the power of Allah is it holy? No. The power of Allah is not holy. Allah has no. a Allah has a dirty power. Yes, can you now read my hadith? Allah has a dirty power. Yes, can you now read my hadith? Well, so why you worship a dirty power God? Can you can you now read my hadith, please? Yeah, but uh, why why you worship a dirty power God? Why are you taking so long? Just read my hadith. What hadith? This is a hadith. You know, this is a this oh, is more important. The, 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 okay, the hadith, the hadith is, is your you. hadith about stone running? Okay, just read it. No, is your hadith have anything to do with the scene in their wares? Yes. Really? Okay, read the hate for me. Go ahead. No, <laughs> no, you read it, please. No, I do not. You know, for me, I cannot read more hadith about uh, in their way. That's it. I, I passed my limit for today. Okay, I'll read it. Okay, read it. Huh? It is Sahih. Hmm. Uh, if you see the black flags, then remain on the on the ground and do not move a hand or a leg. A group of weaklings will then appear. Their hearts will be like iron. They are the owners of the state. They fulfill neither a contract nor a nor a, a covenant. They call to the truth, but they are not its people. Hmm. Their names are Acuna and their lineage are town. Their hair is unwinding like the hair of a woman. Hmm. Isn't this ISIS? Those are ISIS. Yes. Hmm. But isn't it isn't it your prophet? He his name is a Kunya. No. What do you mean? Isn't it Omar Abdul Khattab is a Kunya? Isn't it Abu oh. Bakr a Kunya? Abu Bakr. What is Abu Bakr? Yes, but uh, now it's uh, in this time. What? Because it says they will be. Uh, <laughs> what is it? Okay. What? Isn't it, isn't it your prophet? He said that those people they will come from Khorasan. What is that? I don't know. Khorasan is in is going to be supposed to be in the old Persian empire. So why your prophet is a false prophet? If the ISIS are from Khorasan, that will make them uh, will make them uh, as Muhammad he said. But Muhammad he made it clear that they are coming from Khorasan. Those are not from Khorasan. Al Baghdadi yes. Al Baghdadi is supposed to be from Mecca. No, he's from Iraq. He's a, his last name is Al Qurushi, Qurushi, which means he's from Mecca. No, my okay. friend. The, okay, let's go the, Iraq. Let's go Iraq. Is Iraq is Khorasan? What is Khorasan? Khorasan is you can search for it right now in Google. What does Muhammad say in a hadith? He said that they will come from Khorasan. And not only that, your prophet he says that their leader is a black man. Is Al Baghdadi no. is a black man? Okay, show me. Are you sure? Yeah, show me where it says that. Okay. You will not change your mind. No. You cannot no negotiate about that. <laughs> well, you are laughing. You are laughing at your prophet. I notice always when you call me, you laugh when you hear things about your prophet. I know you don't show respect. I'm really, I'm really uh, uh, so disappointed of you as a Muslim. Here we go. Your <laughs> prophet, he said, Al Khawarij, their leader is a black man. Here we go. You see the word Al Khawarij? Mm, let me see the screen. Mm, see the screen. Mm. Should, should I send you the hadith in the top of a, uh, of a, of a rock, the rock of Pusas? Here, 
can you uh, show the hadith from a little above so I can read the whole hadith? No problem. Here we go. This is not talking about the same people. It's talking about al khawarij about al khawarij Supposedly, as you see. This is the same statement you read for me. And their leader is a black man. Is al Baghdadi is a black man. No, the 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 uh khawarij is not what is in hadith. Yes, the khawarij is in the hadith. No, this is what you quote for me. Yes, your prophet talking about people. Do you know what Khawarij, which means people they out they are out of religion? They are out of what the teaching of Allah, supposedly. So, how ISIS are those people? And where ISIS they broke the command of Allah, they killed the same as Muhammad, they raped the same as Muhammad, they steal the same as Muhammad, no. and they were even nicer no. than Muhammad. Okay, okay. Was Muhammad a rapist? No, no. Let me yes, he was a rapist. Okay, well, just 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 wait a second, please. Hmm. I want to quote, uh, quote something from your, from your Bible, what, uh, what uh, Moses did. Hmm. Let's see if, you, if um, Moses is, uh, is why, not a rapist. Why you are changing the topic? So was Muhammad a rapist, yes or no? Because you're a hypocrite. Well, let's see who's a hypocrite. I'm asking you, was your prophet a rapist, yes or no? Was your prophet Moses a rapist? If he was a rapist, then we call him a rapist, no problem, if he was. Okay. I'm asking you, was okay. your prophet a rapist, yes or no? If Moses is a rapist, I'm Muhammad is. If he's not a rapist, you Muhammad have, is no, not. I have to prove it. And if he's a rapist, I will call him a rapist. No problem. First, I will show you what uh, Moses commanded. I'm Look. asking you, was your prophet a rapist? No. So who is Safiya who he raped her in the same day? Who is Julia? Okay, who okay. Is okay. Julia Muhammad is a rapist. Let's see. Numbers 31, uh, verse 7 to 18. Okay. They read, read, Midian. What? Okay, read for me what it says. They attacked Midian just as the Lord has command had commanded Moses, and they killed all the men, all five of the Midian tea kings, mm -hmm. Eve, Rikim, Zur, Ho, and Reba, mm -hmm. right in a battle. They also killed Balaam, <laughs> son of Baal, with the sword. And the Israeli army captured the Midianite women and children. Mm -hmm. Wow! Captured! Mm -hmm. Isn't this what you uh, Christians call? No, where it says, perhaps, they, where it says uh, they raped them. No, no, where it says they, where it says they raped them. You said they raped them. I'm gonna show you and seize their cattle and flocks them all. The world was plunder. They burned all the towns and the villages where the uh, militants had lived. After they had uh, gathered the plunder and captives, both people and animals, they brought them all to Moses and Eleazar can the you, priest can you and just go and tell me where the of Israel. Says? Which has what, why uh, which you, was why camped don't go, on the why, plane. You, why you don't go and tell me the verse it says they raped the women? Okay, okay. let me just uh, hmm. go there. Yeah. Okay, Moses, as a the priest, had all the leaders of the people went to them hmm. outside the camp, but Moses was furious with all the military commanders. I'm going to read the whole chapter where the verse yes. says yeah. they raped them. Okay. I'm going to show you right now okay. who had returned from the battle. <laughs> what Moses said. Why have you let all these women live? Mm. He demanded. These are very ones who followed Balaam's advice mm. and caused the people of Israel uh, to, to rebel against the Lord. Mm. They are the ones who cursed the plague to mm. strike the Lord's people. Now kill all the boys and the women who have slept with their men. Mm. Only the young girls who are virgins may live. You may keep them for yourselves. Mm. Right. To do what with them? Hypocrite. No. You're, you're, you're no, hypocrite. No, you see, you are a hypocrite. The Bible says like, that no, even though, like, oh, even what? those, oh, even gonna, those prisoners, gonna, oh. even those prisoners, they don't sleep with them, they marry them. And we can show you tons of verses from the same book you are reading from. You are the hypocrite, you are the dummy. And yeah. nowhere it says, yeah. and nowhere it says they, they did yeah, rape them. Did you show me the way it says re rape, they did rape them? Okay, okay. The, uh, this is from. Did you honor me? Did you see? Did you when, see what it says? They even step with them. It says the the young uh, girls did, who are virgins. Does it say? Live, you make does it say themselves. anywhere? No, it's adult. Does it say anywhere that they slept with them? It says uh, that does, you does, make does, them I am asking you. Does it say anywhere that they even slept with them? 
you could not okay, find rape. So you, you could not find rape. You could not find rape, right? So now okay. I'm asking you, let us so see. Word, Maybe we can okay. find something so else. Word. Maybe no. we can find something else. Does it say anywhere that they even slip with them? My friend, your logic is stupid. So, it, it really says stupid. you are the one trying to prove to me that they raped them. So you have to show me where it says that. So you fail again. They keep them okay. as slaves. They keep them as slaves because they they themselves, the Jews, they've been slaves too, eye for an eye. So they keep them as a slave. But there's nowhere it says <laughs> that they did rape them. And the and the Old Testament says that if you have a slave, in order to know her, you have to marry her. Okay, Otherwise, let me uh, read no, this. Uh, no, no, don't. Just, no, let us go back. So you see, I gave you a chance to read the whole chapter for me, and you fail. Now I'm asking you, why you admitted that your prophet was a rapist, and you are the one who says to me that if oh, somebody committed, you admitted that your okay, let, prophet let me, Moses let me, let me was a rapist. Ask, let me ask you, is, is Islam from the same God of of Moses? From the God, the God of the Quran and the God of the Old Testament are very similar. Okay. In the, in God the, in the, the okay, in the Bible God. it says, hold on. In the Bible it says, if somebody rape a woman, he would be killed. The, okay, I mean, the God of the New I'm Testament you, and the God of the Old Testament are not the same God. Let me clear this to you. They are not the same. In the Bible it says, if a man he raped a woman, he should be killed. Can you find me a verse in the Quran that says, if a man rape a woman, he would be killed? In the sh Sharia law. What Sharia law? So you, you Muslim, you don't have it in the Quran? It's in the Sharia law. What Sharia law? Many else. I thought your Sharia is coming from the Quran. So where is Sharia coming from? What does that mean? From what do you mean? Where is the punishment? Where are you saying to me, Allah? He forgot to say to you, Allah. He have time to tell us that there was an ant. She was warning the ants about Suleiman, but he forgot to make a verse about what we will do if a man he rape a woman. Are you saying that to me? You're stupid. You can call me whatever you want. You have to show me what kind of a stupid God. He talk about those silly stuff, but he have no time to tell us what we will do in the case of rape. Yeah, in, in, uh, Muhammad said, uh, kill the person who rapes. Where? In the Sharia law. In the Sharia law. So, is, okay, are you saying to me that Muhammad, he have he is copying the Jews because the Jews, they have that. The Quran doesn't have that. It doesn't matter. It's in the Sharia law. What do you mean? It doesn't matter because Muhammad he have to follow Allah. Is Muhammad making yeah. his own? Okay, are you saying to me Muhammad he made his own law, different from the law of Allah? The law of Allah is the Quran. The law of Muhammad is inspired by Allah. Okay, inspired by Allah, it have to be Quran. Did Allah speak to Muhammad? Yes, in the night journey. Where it says that? Show me. In a hadith. It doesn't say that. <laughs> okay <laughs> okay what else do you think he did secondly in the night the journey night. in the night journey there's nowhere in the quran it says that allah he took muhammad to the heaven is that right okay okay yes so why you are fabricating a lie you muslims you lie you say muhammad went to the seven heaven but even the quran never says that because in the, if you were in the time of muhammad then you would understand why the, the verse was not revealed. Muhammad told all the people. No, the Quran, how so the what? verse wasn't revealed. So Allah, he forgot. Allah, he have time to tell us about the end, speaking to the end. But oh. he have no time what? to tell us about Muhammad going to heaven. What's some point of uh, Allah re re revealing a verse when Muhammad really told all the people he went to, nobody to the night journey? There's nobody saw him. There's no witnesses, not even his wife. Nobody saw him. Yes, but he split and Muhammad, uh, there was many uh, witnesses. What witnesses? The pagans were where, what witnesses where they saw him they saw him went to heaven no i'm talking about the moon spit you you want to change the topic now it's a, i'm not changing uh, the topic. i'm witnesses. saying to you okay I'm where, where are we kind of verse okay let me ask you in islam if a man he have sex uh, with the women he you have to bring four witnesses and they have to see his penis going inside her vagina is that true what if you see when a Muslim he wanna play dumb, what you you heard me? According to your Quran, <laughs> we have to bring four witnesses to prove yeah. adultery. How you can bring four witnesses? You come to your house, you find the guy sleeping with your wife. Now you have to what call, you have to call four friends. Hey Ahmad, hey Muhammad, call them, call them. Come over, take your car and come here because we have to see the penis of this guy going inside the vagina of this woman so we can prove adultery how you can prove that
Why you are laughing? <laughs> you are laughing at your religion, right? Please don't ever say Muhammad was a killer, rapist, because I, that's I, I really saying, what are, Moses you are was. The one, hold on, we got you busted. I'm asking you. I'm asking says, you. I'm asking you. What, what, you what like kind, Moses what will kind be of, sent. What kind of religion says stupid thing like this? How in the world somebody can prove that his wife committed adultery by getting four witnesses? How we can get four witnesses? And Muhammad said they have to see his penis going in as the pen go inside the ink, the inkwell. How we can prove that? So if the man she is sitting in the top of the guy wearing her skirt, there's no witnesses, there is no adultery. Because nobody saw anything. Okay, but I don't understand why you bring I'm this up. I'm asking you because this is silly. Your, your book is a stupid silly. The Bible have details okay. about a rape, about uh, adultery, about everything. There's details here. There's nothing. Yeah, what, like, what is like you say to me, You say to me Sharia yeah. law, but there's no Sharia like, law. There's a garbage law. What is a Sharia law? How in the like, high, how in the world? Okay, somebody, somebody here rape a woman. How a woman? She will bring four witnesses to prove that she was raped. Hello. Yeah, yeah. So according to Islam, every woman who is raped, she have to call for her friends, so they can watch the guy raping her, so she can prove that she was raped. Okay. What do you mean? Okay, this is the most stupid religion ever I heard. A rapist, yeah, and your a, is more stupid. A, a rapist, he will not invite people to see that he is ra raping a woman. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. stupid. So, guys, look at this garbage. A rapist, he have to bring four witnesses to see him raping a woman. Otherwise, the woman, she cannot take him to court. Because if she doesn't have four witnesses, the judge will beat her, not beat him. They will lash her 80 times if she is not going to be stoned. Abdul, take care and say hi to mommy. Okay? Bye-bye. Can I, no, can I talk for 10 seconds? Yeah, 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 come on. Abdul, you don't know what you're talking about. You're an idiot. Just go. Four witnesses we have to bring for a rapist. Have you ever heard of such a stupid religion like this? And now if the woman, she go to the police and she report the guy who raped her, she the, the, the judge will say, okay, do you have four witnesses? She say, no. Then the judge will say, oh, the Quran says if those who do that, then we have to lash them 80 lashes because you accuse somebody and you would approve. Is that justice? The Muslim keeps saying Sharia Allah. Sharia, you don't have a Sharia. Sharia, I mean law, actually. You don't have. It's a garbage. Muhammad, his wife, she was accused that she is having sex around. Actually, Muhammad wife Aisha, she is very well known. She was the bike of the town. Whoever want to take a ride here, ride her. And then when everybody start talking about her sleeping around, and they have witnesses, three witnesses, Muhammad, he made it up to four. So now he can beat those who accuse his wife because simply he cannot punish her because he will lose Abu Bakr if he do so. And if you lose Abu Bakr, Islam collapse. And how in the world if somebody can bring four witnesses for adultery? <laughs> you know, those guys, they must have a web camera and uh, millions of people watching the same time. And by the way, they have four, they have to be four witnesses who they are men. And men we accept, not any men too. Which means we might have four witnesses, but the judge don't accept them. And they have to be believer, not only for men. Which means if you have one million Christian, they saw a crime, the one million Christian are not accepted. If you have one million women, they saw the crime or the rape, still they're not accepted because in the case of any capital murder or punishment, the witnesses have to be for men and Muslims only, which we accept, not women. In the case of witnessing for borrowing money only, women she can witness. In some scenario, some uh, uh, scholar they say a woman she can witness for giving birth because she is inside the room with that woman alone, so she can witness that yes, this is her son. That's all. But in the case of any capital punishment, women are not allowed to witness. What kind of religion this religion is? This is a chapter four. 
verse number 15. And by the way, this is about uh, about uh, here about lesbian. And the verse after it is about gays. If you are a gay in the Quran, if you are a lesbian, Muslims they have to jail you until you die. If you are a lesbian, if you are a, sorry a gay, then they they can beat you with sandals and you let you go. And then people they start making fun of Muhammad. I mean, what kind of religion? This religion says, you know, where is justice here? Why women they jail them until they die for being lesbian? But yet, if a man he is uh, gay, you beat him with sandal, insult him, and let him go. So Muhammad he changed it in the hadith, and he says the one who do that kill him. As you see, guys, Islam is nothing but a chain of stupidity. Wherever we go, it's a stupid. You see, I am going with the Muslims in the direction they try me to, to try to take me sometime, just to show you that this is a very stupid cult. Stones are holy. Stones they steal clothes. Stone they erase sin. Stones sent down from heaven, and yet they say to us that they are not pagan. If this is not paganism, what is paganism? Stone they erase sin. Islam not only it's a fascist cult hateful cult cause violence around the earth Islam brings stupidity to mankind it's a fascist because it teach Muslim they are they are supreme people they are supremacist they are above mankind they are the best of mankind and the rest actually they are not even mankind they are animals we can put a chain around their necks according to their prophet that is a truth this is why when a Muslim he he decide to be practicing Islam he go and he want to commit extreme terror as we just heard an hour ago that the German they arrested 10 Abdul from the peaceful followers of the religion of peace as they lie to us planning to kill as many believers as they can renting trucks buying weapon and the purpose is to kill as many unbelievers as possible. That is Islam. And yet they keep lying to us in the newspapers, in magazine, in TV. And if you say the truth, they say to you, you are an Islamophobic. We'll wait until a truck go over you. And then if you speak against Islam, they will say to you, you are Islamophobic, even if you are in your grave already. I wonder if those guys who've been killed in Christmas markets year after year, if they, if we ask them to have an interview, what they want to say about Islam when a truck was going over them, I guarantee you that the stupid media in the Western countries, they will say he's Islamophobic, even though he was killed by a Muslim terrorist. They lie to us and they say, that those are radical Islamic. There's nothing it's called radical. This is what Muhammad taught. What radical? There's nothing it's called radical Christian. Either a Christian or not a Christian. Christian, a true Christian is someone follow Jesus. True Muslim is somebody follow Muhammad. So if you are saying to me that radical Muslims is the one who follow Muhammad, then why you say to me they are radical? They are, they are just Muslims like Muhammad. They try always to label you, call you Islamophobic, so they can silence you. And nobody will be able to silence us. We will speak the truth no matter what. No matter what. And for those who speak Spanish, by the way, my book in Spanish will be out soon. So get ready. I hope by the end of the coming week, the, the book will be published and we will be seen again, I mean, soon in, in, uh, uh, in Amazon. So those who speak Spanish soon they will have a book in Spanish. This is a translation of my book, Quran. Sorry, uh, uh, the deception of Allah. And soon we hope that we will have the translation for Quran and science and depth in Spanish too and in Portuguese. What we do here in YouTube is very important, and I hope people they appreciate and they will download my videos and share it everywhere. This is what Muslims don't want you to do.
always do things which Muslim they don't like you to do if the Muslims they like you to do something it's mean it's wrong as simple as that if you love your country Muslims will be upset if you carry the flag of your country Muslims will be upset if you are willing to defend your country Muslims will be upset if you hate your country Muslims will love you if you're against your country Muslims they will support you and even they will say may Allah bless you if you hate your fellow citizen they will encourage you always always examine decisions you make in your life the second you see a politician the Muslims they vote for him it's mean he is really extremely bad because those people they've been taught everything based in their cult have nothing to do with your country it have to do with religion for them anyone is not a Muslim he is evil he is an animal he is a person equal to to be chains in their neck as you see read with me carefully this is not my statement the Quran saying the verses you are the true Muslims are the best people ever for mankind raised up for mankind means the best of people for people as they you bring them with the chains on their necks till they embrace Islam this is the only target for a Muslim in life is to put a chain around your neck and force you to embrace Islam which means the target of Islam is a slavery everybody have to be a slave either you embrace Islam or you die or we put a chain around your neck and you are our sex slave if you allow that to happen to you it's your fault good for them bad for you and there's many European countries they are working always and they sponsor Islam even they are making a law to forbid anyone to attack Islam how stupid you are you claim that you are a, per a person who sponsors you know freedom of speech and suddenly you sponsor speech of hatred because this is hatred this is fascism you are protecting fascist You can contact me only in Skype, please. I don't send email. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't contact by email. I have very few people. They know my email. I contact them by email too. Uh, and you know, prove me wrong. I'm using everything in the Quran. The Quran says we are najis, we are filthy, we are dirty, we are kuffar, we are animals, we are worse of the creatures, we are evil doers. Uh, uh, we are worse than worse than animals. This is all from the Quran. <coughs> Even in Mecca, they have roads only for Muslims and road only for actually in Mecca. You cannot even enter Mecca. Talking about Saudi Arabia. In Saudi Arabia, they have roads where only Muslims can go. That is in Mecca. Take a look. This is not something was history. This is a fascist religion. Roads for Muslims and roads for non-Muslims. Why? Because non-Muslims are dirty. This is what the Quran says. <clears throat> Muslims only, non-Muslims. Do you see it? Non Muslims. Only Muslims permitted. That is not history. This is now. Your best friend, Saudi Arabia, and your best friend, the Muslim countries, they believe that this is the right thing to do. Muslims only and yet they claim that the white man in South Africa he was racist 
In fact, they are more racist than the white man in South Africa because Islam considers itself as a race and the rest of mankind are not part of it. And they are the only one is holy and we are filthy dirty. And why they do that? All of this we can find it in the Quran. The Quran says, وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكُونَ النَّجِسِ all those who they are not Muslims are Najis. Chapter 9, verse number 28. So don't make them fool you, my friend. We are showing you the reference. We are showing you the truth. And we are not quoting anything without proving what we say. This is not fiction. This is not a speech. This is reality. And these days, if you speak the reality, they say to you, you are Islamophobic. Well, call me as much as you wish. You are a liar and you are stupid when you call me that. It is Islam who have a phobia. The phobia is the one who, the one who have a phobia is the one who think anyone who don't believe in his belief is dirty. That is a phobia. That is the phobia itself. That's a phobia, a dangerous phobia, because he believe if you go there, you will kill you. And yet you accuse us of phobia? Imagine if I believe someone is a Hindu, is a dirty guy. Why? He's a human being like me. I'm a Christian, he's a Hindu. Why he's dirty? Imagine we make roads and we say, uh, Christians only, Hindu, uh, Muslims, atheists, they are dirty. Go, don't, don't walk here. Imagine. You see, the West, because they learned that Islam is a disgusting cult, so they don't see any ugly behavior is something strange when it's come from Islam. It's a normal thing. It's like rain. So why, how we can condemn terrorism if Islam, all of it is about terrorism. So what they start to do, they start saying, this is not Islamic. This is not from Islam. Islam and mean peace. Yeah, right. This is Islam. This is Islam. Here we go. The verse after it, verse number 29. Kill the Christians, kill the Jews, unless they convert to Islam or pay the jizya. So pay or die. Hmm? Pay or die. If the Muslims want, they became majority, they would do that to you. Pay or die. Why people they are fooling themselves? <clears throat> you know, mankind these days they are they are in competition with the uh, hypocrisy and the uh, politically corrupt uh, minded. You know, you cannot say Islam is evil. No, it is evil. What about God? He says, beat your wife. They speak, you see the liberals, they say, oh, we support women. We support women, right? But when it's second, they say Islam, they are silence. Women, they are beaten. A man, he can marry for as many as he wish. He divorced them anytime he wish. They, he, they give them no rights. But yet they see the liberals, they invite Muslims to make a speech about women's rights. Women have rights in Islam since when? Even Muhammad, he says it clearly that women are the devil. And he made them equal to dogs and donkeys. Three things will interrupt a Muslim prayer. A passing of a woman, a passing of an ass, and a, a woman and a black dog. Do you see it? Who's saying that? The messenger of Allah. And yet... The, the, the liberals, they invite Muslims to make speeches about how Allah gave women their right. Their inheritance, inheritance law is not equal. Divorce law is not equal. Punishment law is not equal. We just showed you in the Quran, chapter 4, verse number 15 and 16. In the case of lesbian or those who commit adultery, we jail them until they die. If somebody is a man and is a gay, we just beat him with sandals and let him go. This is Quran. And Muhammad even he described your mother and my mother as Satan. Why? 
just because she is a woman. Do you see it? The women, she come and she retires in the image of shaitan. Women are evil in Islam. And the funny, the Muslim, they lie and they say, oh, in the Bible, the Bible blame Eve for the sin of Adam. The fact is not true. The Bible say clearly that both they've been punished for the sin they commit. But it is Muhammad who said, if not Eve, no man, no woman betray her husband. Do you see it? It is Muhammad who teach that all the sin in the world, the reason of it is Eve. Do you see it? That is the logic of Islam against women. So Islam is a religion as a cult against human rights, against you, regardless if you are an atheist, Christian, Jew, Hindu, whatever you are. It seek your death or you been enforced to believe in Islam if you are a woman they treat you as a piece of garbage even in heaven you are just a piece of sex toy for the joy of the man that is the truth about Islam and Islam is peace to the point until now we don't have one single church in Saudi Arabia I mean, do you see how much peaceful it is? Why we cannot have a church in Saudi Arabia? Have you ever heard of a country there's no gays in it? Not even a single gay? Because it is so much tolerance there. There's no single atheist in Saudi Arabia. When Ahmadinejad, he came to, you, to, to make a speech in the United Nations, they asked him, he said, there's no gays in Iran. Yeah, because we killed them all. Islam is peace to the point we have countries have only one religion and we have signs says non-Muslims are dirty. So my friend, you are smarter than this and we are sharing the proof and the reference in the front of your eyes. Please download our videos. You can cut them pieces if the video is too long. Like let's say now I'm explaining about women rights in Islam. You can cut this video and make it short if you want. Uh, your help is needed. So we can, you see, if we can, we, if we can show the world what Islam is about, things will change. The problem we have today that the majority is ignorant. They have no idea what Islam is about. And when we have ignorance, we have death. Why people die because of cancer? Because they do not know how to deal with it, ignorance. Otherwise, one day, trust me, they will discover what, how to deal with cancer. And all those millions, poor millions who die because of our ignorance. We do not know how to deal with it. But time will come and, they will, and medicine for cancer will be like a medicine for a flu. One day, flu used to kill millions. Not long time ago. Not long time ago. A stupid virus flu kill millions continent almost almost vanished because of a flu because we do not know how to deal with it ignorance ignorance bring death and the Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance that is the wisdom so fight with us to fight the ignorance the problem is not only Islam. The problem, the biggest problem is the ignorance, especially from those who call themselves atheists and yet they take a side with Islam, trying to fool us and fool themselves. But in fact, they are digging for their grave because the most enemy Islam hate is those who don't believe in God at all, supposedly. So you are an atheist, for sure you are seeking your death when you sponsor Islam. A Christian, according to the Quran, he can pay and live. They will not kill him if he pay. 
gang mentality as we see in chapter 9 verse 29 but if you are an atheist you cannot live you cannot live and you cannot pay you have to die that is the truth I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you maybe tomorrow again shall we come tomorrow or give you a, 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 a space what do you think let us think about it uh, uh, if you are new don't forget please to subscribe to our channel and to subscribe to those who post my videos because remember I don't keep my videos for long in my channel so there's videos the same video you can search for the same title after a few hours and you will find it in different channel subscribe to those people who do download my videos this way you support them and this way you support yourself when you need something you find it they are doing a great job which you should do too actually so I want to say thank you all for being here may the Lord bless you and until we see you tomorrow I hope if I can we will be here again if I can may the Lord give us time and ability to share the truth and only the truth will set you free and this is why the Lord he says I am the truth I am the Alpha I am the Omega I am the resurrection I am the beginning I am the end and whoever believe me and believe in me and die he will live and not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so my friend do the will of the father so you can belong to him and you can join the kingdom of God Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye